What's up? What up, though? How was your week? It was cool. It was cool. How was yours? It was fair. <laughs> Not it was fair. I got some things to discuss for you off the air, but <laughs> you ready to get into this song? Yeah, let's get into the song. But real quick, we got some Ooh. help this week yeah. on the song. So we do have Petty Party Podcast here with us. Hey, hey y'all. Hey, how are you guys? We doing good. Y'all good? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the way we do our song is Brittany and I are each going to say the lyrics to a song. And usually it's just the two of us. But y'all go ahead and help us out, okay? Okay. okay. All right. So you want to go first? You want me to go first? I go first. Okay, go. Okay. Hold on. I said I was going to go first. Oh. Gotta look over your shoulder and see what's going on. Now you got it. <laughs> okay. I met this chick, and she moved right up the block from me. Um, she got the hots for me, the finest thing oh, I, know this song. I need what? to see. The I just, oh, sorry. But, oh, no, <laughs> no. She got a man and a son. I didn't know it said this. Oh, oh, but that's okay. Because I wait for my cue and just listen, play my position, like a shortstop. Wait, this is sounding real Pick familiar. Pick up everything mommy hitting. And it's no time. I better nope. make this friend. Uh, <laughs> Mine. Still don't know. <laughs> That's for sure. Because I've never been the type to break up a happy home. There's something about baby girl. I just can't leave her alone. So tell me why. Yeah, so, I don't know. <laughs> what it's going to be. You do? Said you don't know what you mean to me. Nah, I don't know. Oh, wait, hold on. Know what you been to no matter what I do. Oh, yes. all I think about is you. Yes. Oh, that one right off my head. Did you get it? Yes. Why'd you say so that? Why'd you always say it? Yeah, yeah. Did Girl, you really I, know it? I, they, I, I got a little title. No, I, I thought did. y'all were waiting. I thought yeah. you were trying to guess no, it. No, y'all just say it up. Uh, it Ellie and uh, Kelly Rowland, right? Yeah. yeah. I don't know the song. The Limo. The Limo. Okay, I there you go. I have been forever. Nikki, I'm surprised you didn't say that after that, because you have a poster of Kelly Rowland. By the second line, I was like, bro, am I in a Twilight Zone? What's really good here? Yeah, no. Okay, so my song, if y'all know it, go ahead and say it. Okay. Okay. close my eyes. Yes, please. I can't say nothing. Okay. If you know me, this ain't my feng shui. Certified everywhere and gotta print my resume. Hey. Talking crazy, I pull up on Oh, leg. okay. Certified crazy. Hey, dog. Dog. Hey, hey, I had to run a fire. What song is that? Fight Night Migos. Yeah. Oh. You need to take off. <laughs> I know who would have had that. Who would have had it? No. <laughs> really? Not, maybe. Not until you hit the chorus. Yeah, yeah, hit the chorus. That's, that's what I'm saying. Maybe I should have been like, maybe I should have been like, Broke niggas stand yeah, to, to the, the left. I would have got that. Yeah. 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 Niggas stand, stand to the right. 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 Little mama, she keep looking at me. Little mama. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to knock the pussy out like fight night. Okay, maybe I should have did that part. Yeah. I, I would have got that part. No, not really? that part, but like just to hit him with the left, hit him with the right. Not my original song was going to be Versace. And then I started reading the lyrics. They say Versace like 50, 11 times. Uh, Versace, 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 Versace. <laughs> yeah, he was like, I got Versace. My mama got Versace. My daddy got Versace. I, I didn't know Nelly said this song and she had a son. I thought she just had a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know kids was involved. She was a two-piece. A two-piece combo. <laughs> we a package deal. <laughs> <laughs> Did, any <My> of, <laughs> Did any of y'all had a song y'all want to do? Real quick. Of course. Before we I get into the rules of the podcast. I right. do. Okay. I mean, I got a song, which I would guess it. No, not even that. It's fine. I, I have, I have it. like easy. Okay. I have I it. Love How love. about, okay, can I do one real quick? Yeah, you can. Oh, you know the lyrics like off top. Okay, so real ass, ass bitch. bitch. Give, Give a, a fuck about a nigga. Hmm. Big bag, whole five, six figures. I'm an ass, so you call a pussy tigger. Fucking on a scamming ass bitch ass nigga. I don't think I know. Is it uh, County Girls? <laughs> you don't know if County, county girls. girls. Well, right now, they're City Girls. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's only one. Yeah, there's only when one. Is in the county. they only one until, what, March 21st? Is that what you get out? 2020. 2020. Oh, okay. okay. Oh. My song. Okay. Okay. Please. Ready? Mm-hmm. I need a nigga off the block who be spinning it. Wait, could girl. crack, oh, roll, dice, and be killing it. City and girls. ain't scared city to city blow it back on some fly shit. shit. I don't want a broke nigga with Wait, good dick. If it don't make money, it don't, don't make sense. sense. Why she telling she that nigga? Ass? <laughs> Cause Cause she, she is. I don't want a broke nigga <laughs> with some good dick. Facts, <laughs> but um, <laughs> what song is it? City I know y'all know everything else, but y'all don't know this song. No That's the anthem. Is it Cloud Chasing? Huh? No, no. Where did that get? No. Oh, oh, okay. That's where I need a, I need a nigga who's going to swipe them visas yeah, came yeah, from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you. Cloud Chasing? Like, That's cool. That's I was cool. listening to that this morning. So. Too, I feel you. No, I like that song. Cloud Chasing was on the same. Is it by Cardi B and Offset? No. That's Cardi and 
have a song called Clout Chasing. Don't they have a song called Clout Chasing? They have a song called Clout. Oh, yeah, that's right. The City Girls have a song called Clout Chasing. Okay, guys. So, I actually just have one rule. Okay. <laughs> if your phone goes off, you have to read your text message. Okay. Okay. Hmm. It's a must. And it's entirety. You don't have to read who it's from. No. But you have to read your text message. Okay. 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 No filter. Yeah. So if somebody says, come ride my face, you have to read the exact thing it says. Yeah. I would hope no one's sending Amen. me that at Why not? 7.30 p.m. Okay. It could have been a bad day. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. He knows just what you need. <laughs> All right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, I need a massage. So real quick, <laughs> do y'all want to go around and introduce yourselves? Sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll start here. Go ahead. Oh, really? Yeah. How yeah. are you? I yeah. would say that you know the best. I'm my collect coming out to set. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong you? She she too long. Hey, y'all, it's your girl and my collect coming out to set. What's, what's good? good? <laughs> y'all know what's up. <laughs> Childish. Hey, guys, it's Jory. Wait, huh? Yeah, no egg aboard today. Oh, wow. Oh, that's brand new. That's yeah. how we feel. That, that yeah. fireball got you feeling yeah. different. Yeah. All right, Charlie, it's your girl Michelle. Low key, because I was cold and now. Okay. Then you're going to talk over my intro to <laughs> you. <laughs> hey, y'all, it's your girl Michelle, a.k.a. Egypt the few Nas. <laughs> hey, y'all, it's Crystal, a.k.a. Champagne hey, Chris. Chris. Okay, girl. Hello, everyone. It's just Nick. Just Nick. Okay, just Nick. All right. Nick, pilot and of course, with the admin. This is B. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to do our regular? Yeah. Okay. But who, well, they already know who it oh, is. Oh, okay. all right. This B <laughs> baby coming out the MPC. <laughs> <laughs> Not MPC. <Wait. laughs> coming out there, Elvis Presley. <laughs> oh. Coming out there, MLK. <laughs> Nashville. <laughs> Isn't that Memphis? No. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Crystal. It's okay. But you had the right state, though. I feel like you, Crystal. Right you're there. Yes. Yeah. 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 Hey, best friend. Ain't it a blessing? You are listening to another episode of Here, here You podcast. podcast. This is Tan. And this is B. We have the ladies of Petty Party here. Y'all ready to get started? Oh, of yeah. course. Hey. hey, let's get it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started with, with the shits. Okay. So we do 100 rounds, right? Mm-hmm. But whenever we have a guest, it's a little bit different. So 100 rounds, I'm going to say whatever our topic is, and you're just going to tell me the first thing that comes to mind. Okay. But we're going to go around. Okay. So whoever it stops on is where we stop, okay? So just keep going. All right. So let's start off with our first topic. 100 rounds, Ari. G Herbo. <laughs> hey, Boogie. Ella Bands. Grande. Car note. Hair. <laughs> Your sign. Broke. <laughs> <laughs> Baby daddy drama. G Herpo. Oh, I think G Herpo was already saying. Yeah. I said Herbo. Oh, okay. No, uh, ponytail. <laughs> oh, she shit. stay with a pony. Uh, Lace front. <laughs> Tay. Arrogant. Light skinned. This was on live. <laughs> I, I don't I don't know how to game that. <laughs> you do. You just lost. I that, really, that's yeah, that's what it is. Like, you know, nothing came to mind. Lost. It's okay. Because I don't see how what you said. I, I, I thought, I don't know. I thought I knew how to play the game. You know what? Like, I'm not going to lie. What, what was the first thing you said, Jordan? <laughs> oh, I said A Boogie. Yeah, I was a little confused on the A Boogie. Well, because Boogie. y'all was talking about, what's his name? Oh, oh okay, yeah, okay. Similar I, that's to what rapper. came to her mind. This is a good separation? I'm telling you. Are <laughs> <laughs> well, you just finding somebody that's connected to somebody else? Yeah. <laughs> I was a little confused, but I was I, like, well, that okay. was only. I was, I was like, maybe I'm just old and don't know nothing. Yeah, I was like, maybe that's, that's the second person. Let's just keep going. What was the first word again? Ari. 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 I mean, so, so it has to be Ari, Ari in... And um, Herbo, I think a, a Boogie and his baby mama, they're like oh, one of the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Oh, oh I get that's, that's why I can't hear. Okay. Oh, you said Ella. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That All was right. a long round, y'all. Yeah. yeah, we did pretty good. Ooh, yeah. Good. Men usually suck at this, but. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so this week, um, so I'm guessing everybody in here is pretty familiar with Ari, aka Real yeah. Kyle's sister. Yep. So she had actually posted. That um, I don't know if you remember whenever her and G Herbo was still together, mm-hmm. he gifted her a Bentley truck. Yeah. Oh yes, yeah, wow. So she actually posted just like last week that she didn't know that the car actually had a note. <laughs> she thought the car was paid off. I mean, I feel her. I mean, if you gifted me a car, it better be paid off. Don't bring no bills to me, nigga. <laughs> I mean, like, but I'm going to assume otherwise most rappers don't buy their cars. They lease. And if you don't hear me that title, you didn't buy it. Thank so you. I would have known. I, I, I wouldn't even think to lease for a title. No. I I mean, you need to buy it. Like, you 
need to hand me over that title. But it's like, like, that's, that's these are questions mind. that you need to ask. Like, that's what I was thinking. Like, car, she should have, like, why didn't you? Yeah. And what I, was I, saying, I didn't think to ask the question. You, my nigga, you bought me a car. I'm, yeah, why would I have to ask? Thing, because it, but the reason why you should ask is because you need it's your car at this point, so you need to sign over the title. But at the same time, I, I think that she was so worried about posting it on Instagram yeah. that she was <laughs> yeah. those questions. We, we forget title. she's really like what 21, like, 20? But, no, I think she might be twenty four. Can, can, can she oh. can she drive? Hell yeah. yeah! I mean, I've seen her drive before. Okay, because in my head, I'm thinking like, okay, for instance, if. Somebody gets me a car and then we break up. Like I'm thinking, is the car in your name or is it in my name? It better be in my name. But my thing is, when you go to register, but if you go to register the car, you know what I mean. You gonna want to know whose name? Like all these. I feel like she's. I feel like she's not registering her own car. But I mean, I feel like that's her first car. It can happen. (laughs) (laughs) Y'all, this can happen to anybody. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, but doesn't matter. Plenty of them do it. Yeah. But but what I don't understand is G Herbo's been with Fabulous's daughter for. Uh, Four months, five months now. Why are you just now finding out the car got a note? Because I feel like, and this is why I kind of maybe he paid it off. He probably felt like six, but all of a sudden out of nowhere, okay. Is he telling her she gotta pay it or what? Yeah, he told her she on her own. Not even that. I, I feel like even up until now, I feel like as a man, he was like, you know what. I'm going to cover your payments. But after that whole, you got herpes shit came out, I feel like he was like, Trust <laughs> that shit on you. Honestly, and I'm not going to lie, I don't blame him. Since you want to be your own woman, bitch, here the like, bills. The she sales to this address. Does Jory have herpes? They both have herpes? I'm she confused they both on the whole herpes story. She said that they they both herpes. She said she doesn't have it. She specifically claimed it. But she did say that he had it. And he said that it was a lie. So She I probably mean, said that just to tarnish legend. his name. Yeah, it's all Keep legend. Going. Her piece is a serious allegation, though. Yeah, Girl, these days really will do anything to tear a nigga down that hurt them. I mean, look at mm. uh, I mean, yeah, but look how he's living now, though. I don't and think he had to do much. He got it for sure, though. But these girls don't care. They yeah, still date him. But my thing about, uh, what, what, what's like his he name? Floyd don't, don't care. Floyd don't care. He told old girl's mama to quit her job. Did y'all hear about that? Yeah. So he an ancient nigga. See, you got me a car. I'm sorry. You not paying the note. Uh, you told my mama to quit her it, job. Excuse okay. me. I'm sorry. As a grown ass woman, you should have never quit your job Thank because you. a young a ass man boy. was telling yeah. you to quit your job. So it's not his fault. That sounds good. That's your but first of all. She quit her job just to go home and lay up. He asked her to quit her job to raise his child. Okay. Um. Excuse me. So you act like plenty of Nigerian grandmas. No, so if that was the case, you should have had a contract in place for that way that but you would be good afterwards if he was to leave your daughter. I feel now you. Look what happened. But no one's smart like that because me, I would do that. We need a contract in writing, okay? So if I'm quitting my job, X amount's going to be hitting my account every month if I'm doing this Excuse shit. Me? I'm not like you quit my job and no money hit my account. But you know, what I'm confused on is your kids for how free? many hits is G Herbo really making no. to be able to Girl, afford this drug lord? I don't know. I don't know what he's song he sings to this day. He's not black in Chicago. He's making money. He's I do not lord. know what song he sings to this day. I'm he not doesn't make money. I, I don't either. Me either. I don't Allegedly. know one song. I don't know he said it's Allegedly. your boy G Herbo. And he can't even rap. Nah, he's always off beat. Always off beat. Well, I ain't off beat the thing nowadays. That ain't what you kids like. Nah, that's what I don't get. Like, so I wouldn't even trust him to be like, "Oh, quit your job and get up and like take care of my child." Absolutely not. Mm-mm. I yeah, wouldn't do it. But that's the see, yeah. Because no, do I think my mom? Oh yes, my husband said to quit your job. Why? But that what even, do I have to do with y'all? What do I have to do with y'all's union? That's your husband. This is you. her boyfriend. You no, know, honestly, yeah, you're right. What? My father heard child too. The, almost the same thing. Okay. Days. <laughs> the reason why I don't agree with this whole thing, because this is how I feel. Like at the end of the day, if I'm finna quit my job, and if a nigga's finna sponsor me, even up until now, if a nigga tells me, you know, you know, I think it's fine. That's the exchange. Michelle is real comfortable with that word. She really, we already me. know what kind of time she on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Crystal. Okay, Crystal. Keep that same energy up until the end. Okay. <laughs> I will. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I don't even mean. I'm just being honest. Like, no sponsor. That is what. She I mean, that's what it is. If if you're if if somebody's paying your lifestyle, I mean they're sponsoring, they're sponsoring you. you. What I'm they're saying is like sponsored. you have to understand. You didn't know it's Tia Marie. That song got that's my what I stuff. Always okay. think of when I hear yeah. So I just feel like you have to stay with the nigga. You can't yeah. just leave. It. That's how like you dating somebody and he paying to get your nails and y'all break and you like you not finna pay to get my nails done exactly. no more. Exactly. Now bitch, find a new nigga for that shit. Exactly. We're broken up. Like what, what the hell? You do? Like but you getting your nails done and having your expenses done. Or house. house. But totally different things. Okay. No, 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 I would not expect a nigga to still pay for. I would my expect the father of my child yes. who, who you bought told, it for me to continue paying yes. for it. You told my mom to put her job the hell out there. Why? Y'all bring the hell out Yes, the father of my child. Yes, I would. Now you should stay with him. Now you know good. No, no. He, needs to, he needs to act right first no, of all. But, but if he ain't acting right, that's the father of your kid. No. That's he his to, responsibility. He needs, to, he needs to make sure that we, we have our lifestyle continued. 
No. Shit, they you have, you you bought this lifestyle. I didn't ask for this shit. No. You bought it. So continue paying for it. They have joint custody. She barely with that child. I feel him, but at the end of the day, like I'm not barely paying for a nanny. How do you know they have joint custody? Because she's always with his cousins and stuff like that. She's always torn. I'm, I'm not I'm not finna say even like that. I'm just saying like period like. If you want a nigga to pay for your lifestyle so damn bad, then stay with that the nigga. nigga. Stop shitting on his name. Stop talking oh, shit. If okay. you're depending on that nigga for bills, then play your part. So what did she even come out and say? Like, she was trying to shit on him? No, yeah, she basically was like, I found out I got a car note. And then her new boyfriend, Gervonta, the boxer, uh-huh. he posted and was like, ain't no car notes over here. Period. And so then Herbo I, I posted. I posted if I was a boyfriend. Herbo posted what? Herbo posted and was like, I guess I'm broke. This is my thing, too. Like, no, why no, no, are you no. posting about that? You have a, a boxer like, who makes what, way more than your ex-boyfriend. That, that's it. So thing. if it's that big of a problem, does hey, your current... Yes. I, I agree yes, with Crystal. By, by all... Yes. I agree does. with Crystal saying, like, the by thing is... you means, have, him, have him covered. You're in a new situation. Why did you even take that to social media? Yeah, like, your was, nigga was gonna handle that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Why the fuck do you have to announce that shit? Like, that's your problem now. Because you're not gonna... No, because you're not gonna stun on me and say that you paid all this shit you just G Herbo's baby mama. Who are you really? Actually, she's more known than his. Okay. Situation ain't even gonna last long, so it's not. And he's not. only worth one point two five, so they only. <laughs> yeah. Only. No, I'm just saying. I don't have a point two. Only. No, because that only. You think that two fifty? Hell yeah. Fucking yeah. <laughs> right. No, I'm not saying. Shit. But she's trying to act like she's shitting on G, G Herbo. I feel like it's worth more. Y'all, than, she's shitting on G Herbo. Y'all need to leave that girl alone. Let me for the time being. I'm a, I'm a fact. To she me, it's just a simple Herbo. fact of I'm a very big person about. Don't start something unless you're going to finish Absolutely it. Absolutely not. So, but the thing is, I, okay, even if it's not about him taking care of her for forever, you bought this car, the car should have been paid off. In yeah. Yeah. Thank you. It's, it's a gift. gift. Because how are you going to hand me a Bentley truck and I don't even know no. if I'm going to be able to afford it? No, I get you. It should have, but the simple fact that it's not, she better not be looking to him to continue to pay those notes. She can That's a in. gift. Yes, it's I can. Gift. It's a gift. You gifted that car to me. My nigga, it better be covered. Fully right. loaded and covered. Now her house that she has, I know she got that on her own. So exactly. I don't agree with her trying to have Herbo pay for the house. Yeah. But he bought her the car. Hey, turn the car in. But this is how I feel. If you with me, then yeah, you're going to live like, like me. But we got together, so bitch, take everything back. If you can't afford that lifestyle, bye. Bye. <laughs> you bye. Live yeah. according to your means. Use your child support and pay for your pay for the Bentley truck. Huh? Uh, I don't even agree with that. No. Yeah, no. I'm not even she doing that. She support Nikki. She can support the, support the child, she not can, your like, Bentley truck. She can exactly. she can support mm-hmm. her own child. She doesn't need child support. Not only that. And, and, and why did you think G. Harbaugh was going to buy a Bentley truck at cash? Like, that, it don't even <laughs> add up to me. Why don't you give me a car and not pay it off? That, 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 these that are part. questions that need huh? answers. That so, part. so y'all really think? Okay, yeah, I, mean, I, really I know. I know. Most of these people are like leasing cars, but why would you give somebody something? Yeah, that's not I mean, yeah, that's what and they not that, tell them. It's, it's not a Nissan. If it was a Honda, I'd be like, okay, but it's, if, it's a. Bentley. So that's like if I gave you like, let's say. A Some freaking shoes, anything. A freaking no. wallet. And I was like, okay, it's, it's still on layaway, but they let me give it to you. No, <laughs> like, you have to pay the rest. Let me say, like, do you think, like, half of these stars' cars ain't paid off? Why did you? Why would you think somebody would pay off a Bentley truck? That don't even make any sense. You, you, paid off 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 you car? see what Rob did to China. As soon as him and China broke up, he took back the... He didn't pay it off, though. But he took back the Lamborghini. As he you took, should. He took back the Bentley. He took back the jewelry. He didn't pay those yeah. off. Cardi paid cash but for her not, shit. For her and... Uh, and honestly, the way Ari acted, she not worth no Okay, so let me ask y'all this. Mm. So y'all don't have any gifts right now in your possession that somebody bought for no. you and you didn't return it? Absolutely not. No. So you don't, you don't have nothing. No, absolutely no. not. Wait, you don't have nothing that somebody bought you that you don't deal with. Are you anymore, saying that I and you uh, still have it? I still like, have what do you mean? Oh, yeah. I still have it. Yeah. Exactly. Why so what's, but y'all are telling Ari to turn the truck in. Because, 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 because car note. I don't have anything that's lingering money that I have to yeah, pay for. Paid off. You take it back and you pay the bill. You get rid of this. And shit. the thing is, she can give it back to because it's in his name, obviously. So but honestly, who said she can afford it? That's another thing. Then why she complaining I mean, then? Because you gifted me this car. It's Nigga, you pay it off. Don't mean I can't afford it. Why am I going to give... That's like me giving you a gift and like we break no. up and I'm like, well, I need my money for it. Like, I completely that's a agree with Brittany. Like, I feel like it should have been paid. Well, I can pay for it or not. Most people, people they don't like, buy cars. Y'all not listening. Jewelry, but then don't get and the that's car. People don't buy it. It should be paid off. How do you know it was a gift? He probably just got it for her to drive around and did he say, I'm gifting this to you? I got this for you. I'm not going to assume that it's stipulations. Like, you could drive, but keep it under 2000 
thousand miles per month. You I'm should not know your nigga. You stuff. should know okay. the type of nigga you got. Okay, okay. Let, me, let me say it like this: the way Cardi gifted Offset a car, y'all think she paid that car off? Yes, yes. absolutely. Y'all, y'all really out y'all mind? No. Absolutely. Y'all really out y'all mind? I think Cardi. No, because she showed her statement how much the car's cost. Remember, she showed the bank statement showing the withdrawal. And Cardi can very much so afford it. So yes, I feel like she did. Now Cardi G Herbo is a big two tax brackets. I mean, we're talking about a woman that's like, probably made, had a hundred million dollar year. She was not even on Hennessy's level. Yeah. <laughs> Low key. And you know what? I fact that you <laughs> checked that G Herbo's network is one million and Gervonta is 2.5. So. Um, not, are y'all really? Oh, okay. <laughs> y'all both low? I don't, <laughs> y'all got more money out right now. He's not cute, though. Gervonta is not cute. So even speaking of him, I did y'all see? I mean, why does that even matter? Did y'all see the drama today? No. About what? With Javante and the Ari. Oh. So Ari hid yes. Javante's jewelry this oh, morning, right? She's so Javante, she went on live and she was, was like, I'm hiding it, I'm hiding it. This nigga got on the phone and was like, I'm finna go to jail. Goes into her closet and takes like a big, it looked like Vaseline, a big old goop of Vaseline and walked past all her designer shoes. I feel him. Give me my put jewelry bag. On all of them. If I, he's not gonna physically touch it, but I will touch okay, you. Okay, pause. Did he things. know that it was hidden, or he just thought it was stolen, or something? I don't know. Was it a joke? He, he knew it was, it was a joke. She was like, cause in the video, she, she was like laughing and stuff Is like she that. To be yeah, like, she didn't want him to leave. Stuff, like, cause but, you have to know your type of man. Not every man's with that play shit. Like, that's money that went into <laughs> that shit. Don't take someone's jewelry. Okay. Yeah. I mean, Somebody said she got on live because she was scared that he was going to put his hand She didn't on look her. scared. But she hit the jewelry, though. So why should be scared if she hit his jewelry? She's the problem, y'all. She is clearly the problem. Uh, Who does so that? How did it end up? So, I didn't even see how it really ended. I don't even know if Nick got his jewelry back. But I was reading the comments, and a lot of people in the comments were saying, like, these are signs of, like, abusive behavior. Oh, my God. Be careful. No, 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 the relax. comments create narratives. But relax, yeah. though. So people were just basically saying that, like, you know, it's, like, a sign of his, like, aggression. And the fact that, like, his, his jewelry was hidden, it wasn't destroyed. And he went into her closet and destroyed, and destroyed her stuff. She laughed about it, though. That's weird. Can I tell you something? Because he can replace She's it. She's trying to do things she did with Girl. G Herbo with a new nigga. Not every nigga plays with that shit. She, but you know what? She would like, But you know what? I feel like I, this whole know your nigga thing, they, they, they've, they've always been super playful. Like, you know, even on his, whose birthday was it where they're putting, like, whipped cream on each other? I was like, y'all play too damn much. Right. So I feel like they've always been super duper playful when it comes to shit like but that. Because not play. They, but they play she like that, throwing hit. whipped cream on each other in a <laughs> restaurant. Somebody's jewelry and high. It. She wants to get hit. hit. You playing with a nigga who boxes, you want to get That's hit. That's not playing with him. You want okay. to get KO quickly. <laughs> but I don't think he can hit nobody. Okay, okay. can, can, I, don't think, yeah. can no, I ask a question? You're not supposed to. So is how does somebody's jewelry that big a deal? I think I don't think it's how he had to get outside. He had to go flex. I think it's, it's not hiding somebody's jewelry, it's just playing with somebody's prize possession. Or property. Pro- their like, prize possession or property. You don't sit there and go to somebody's stuff and grab it and go hide it and you don't even know what happened to lead to that. So we don't even know if they were the arguments for her to be playful. She went and grabbed the stuff. Yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. do stuff like that. But You're an adult. Let's be honest. Like, Let's like think like a same pe- person that we are. <laughs> I wouldn't okay? do that. Let's say you wake up in the morning and your earrings are gone. The first thing in your head is not, I'm going to go into the bathroom and I'm going to find some Vaseline, some Vaseline. <laughs> And I'm gonna go put it on. He did that before. Designer yeah. shoes. Come on. I mean, he didn't ask questions though. That's like, his go-to. I mean, this is my thing. Like that doesn't even that doesn't even make any sense. I'm not even gonna play my. I'm gonna play. I, look, I don't drop stacks on jewelry. So listen, <laughs> if I wake up and the earrings missing, I ain't gonna lose sleep. However, I drop stacks on ears and they're missing. <laughs> I will lose sleep over that shit. Bring, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Bring me my shit and produce it right now. And if you can't, okay, cool. Because Everything that, will be destroyed until you find it. Play about something no. that you've invested no. in. I'm not going to destroy, destroy anybody it, else's like, property. So I'm like, did he not ask any questions or like? How? She left that part out on her. Little All I story. saw was he got on the phone and he was like, he got a phone on his go. live. Oh yeah, on her. She was on live. Oh. He got on the phone and was like, I'm finna go to jail. Like, there's this level of playing. Y'all are too fresh for you to be playing like that. That's like a year in type shit. Like, like that. A, apparently, he had a crazy look like in his four eyes, or too. Five years. Yeah, she said she's known him for a minute. Then you should have dated him then and, like, done that shit down. But, like, nice. but I'm so tired of talking about her. Low key, yeah. next up, Honestly, yeah, and truthfully, canceled. the way that I see it is just for one moral of the story here you buy something for somebody, make sure it's paid in full. Mm-hmm. Or you make sure you got a receipt. Or exactly. Or the title. Or and take it back. Don't touch people's property. Amen. Because niggas go in my closet and put Vaseline everywhere. I'm going to fight him. Period. Boxer and all. Period. I'm going to have a title on a car. I'm calling my brother.
brothers. I'm selling it. I'm not doing that. It's most of the chop shop. They need to beat you up for this bullshit. Not, not bad. You, you, uh, you fuck my shit over. Your shit's mine now. Yeah. I could buy them designer shoes back with this chain. That jewelry would not have been produced after that. Because it needs to, all those things <laughs> yeah. need to be replaced. So I would have yeah, I I cut, to make sure Ari okay. I would have cut that necklace down and made it into a ring. That's how I saw the rings. <laughs> wow. I went for each of the 12 days of Christmas. <laughs> Hell that. 12 days, 25 <laughs> days of Christmas. 25 days of Christmas. <laughs> for real. Okay, so let's go ahead and go on over to our next topic. We're going to do another 100 rounds. Okay. All right, 100 rounds. Rasby. Hmm. Okay. Go. Oh, Pretty Ricky. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. All right. All right. That's the end. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ricky. 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 Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. That came right. to mind. You can't. I'm going to give you another oh, shot. No, no. That just makes sense. The millennial tour. Millennial yeah. tour. All right. In three, two, okay, fine. one. B2K. <laughs> Chris Stokes. Marcus Houston. Abuse. Little fizz, booty hole, teenagers, gyrating his midsection. Oh, right. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> what? He quit the movie. He quit. Oh, he did. Come on, continue. Michelle. Um, <laughs> you always. Oh, uh, Ryan. Yeah. Okay, crybaby. I don't know, y'all. Crybaby? Yeah, all right. Yeah. Okay. So, B <laughs> from uh, B2K. I'm pretty sure everybody's mm-hmm. a little familiar with B2K. Um, hey, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> B2K. <laughs> okay. So um they're actually they just started their tour, right? The Millennium mm. Tour. So Raz B hopped on the internet today and decided to let everybody know that he does not feel safe and he is leaving the tour. Um because he is scared that Chris Stokes is gonna be around. So we may all remember um a long time ago Rasby went ahead and said that they were actually molested by Chris Chris Stokes, who was B2K's manager at the time, whenever they were like B2K. Mm-hmm. So everybody was just like, okay. And then how long was it before he decided that he was back on tour? I, when I saw it, it was like six it, when I saw, I saw it, it, it was like six hours, yeah. yeah. So it wasn't long. So yeah, he's actually back on tour now. He probably realized like how much they were gonna sue him if he didn't like Meet Girl, the obligation. He, he probably needed that money. That's yeah. what I'm saying. That's if he broke that contract. Oh, he's in debt for years. Hell yeah, even his children are eating his debt. Even whenever we he saw that he had hopped too. off the tour, we were all because we bought tickets. No shame. Uh, are you going April 19th? Hey, sure. Really, you sure. too. And if y'all are willing to go to Louisiana, tickets are like fifty dollars for front row. For Millennium Tour. I'm okay. But, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they on Groupon if anybody's interested. Wow. But whenever we saw it, we were all like, hold on. We paid to see <laughs> all of B2K. Okay. Not four or five. Mm-hmm. But he's back on the tour now. So, how do y'all feel? I low-key feel bad for him. Me too. For I'm not even going to lie. Like, the thing, yeah, mm-hmm. for Raz, we actually do feel bad for him. Because the thing is, it's like... He's being put back in a position that is very uncomfortable for him yep. whenever he was brave enough to, like, speak out on mm-hmm. the abuse that he did suffer mm-hmm. whenever they were, like, younger. And so, like, Chris Stokes just needs to stay the hell away. He's on the tour with them, ain't he? I think or, this is my thing. I think but, you agreed to do it. That You agreed to do it. That means yeah. you signed contract. Now you have to uphold your hand of the deal. I'm, I'm sorry, it's business. The, uh, okay. I understand that you are uncomfortable, but however, then you should have put in the contract that Chris Stokes needs to stay away, but you didn't do that. Like, so you got to uphold your end of the deal. I, I don't feel bad I, for you. I, I agree with both, but I, I just feel like, like Mm-mm. why did you not double check, like cross your eyes and dot your Thank T's you. before you even went on that stage, and before you even went to social media to talk about I quit, like, Thank you. did you not, so it's just like, they talked you back into doing the tour, so I'm assuming they were like, oh, well, Chris Stokes not gonna be there, so you couldn't call one of your five, four cast members, so they be like, yo, is old boy gonna be here? Like, Nobody like, talked him back He in. just wanted attention, the though, because, he did you know, he, he, he just wanted attention, time, though, because he was just he like, just, I quit the tour, maybe. he was like, but, but if Mariana asked me to stay, I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay. Like, if so you, you truly concerned about your well-being, you would have hit on Mariana up. No, you're truly concerned about your well-being, can't nobody say nothing to me that's gonna make me rejoin the tour that I, I'm quitting because I'm scared. Yeah. That's attention. I, I feel like, like I feel like he just wanted to re-expose Chris Stokes. Be like, yeah, I, exactly. I know y'all bring it back to life because it's the season. You know, so they're doing it to R. Kelly, okay. trying to do Michael Jackson like that. So might as well do Chris Stokes. Exposure. It's the season of the exposure. La 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 la, pedophile. Get these niggas out of here. La 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 la. Jail time. R. Kelly's going to prison. Michael Jackson's Turning in inside, inside his grave. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Don't don't bring Mike Jackson to this. Not low key. Yeah. Oh. R.I.P. Why? He's no, we're not doing. We're not doing. 
doing this. Lie. We're not doing this. Honestly, I'm not going to okay. okay. no, speak We're going to wait till we get there. We're going to wait till we get to that end of the road, bro. I ain't doing that with y'all today. We are. That's a sensitive topic. You know what I'm talking about. I don't either. Yeah. The niggas nasty. Okay, you know what? Rap beat, honestly... He, I don't feel bad for him. So back to Michael Jackson. The thing is, Wait, it's what? wrong. It don't work huh? like that. It don't work. This is not your podcast, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, sis. So Raz, yeah. I mean, Raz B. Uh, okay, so Raz B. Yeah. So I, I, I'm going to have to agree with Nikki. Like, I feel bad for Raz B because I honestly and truthfully feel like people get put in positions sometimes that they don't have a choice. Mm-hmm. And so, okay, it's like, yeah, you know, you, yeah, you shouldn't have signed on to do this tour if you were, like, scared for your life and everything like that. But it's different. Yeah. It's different. It's different. Because if you, only God knows how much money they made whenever they were actually B2K, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We don't know if Rasby made smart investments. We don't know if he has anything. But I, I understand that's his personal choice mm-hmm. and everything. Mm-hmm. But if you're put into a cer- certain predicament and then somebody comes to you and is like, say, we got... We got 30 cities that want to see y'all, and we willing to give you $5,000, $10,000 a show, whatever. You don't think somebody that's in a predicament or somebody that's low on cash ain't going to be like, well, shit, bump, bump, bump. Like, what? I will choose my safety before money. But not so if you're that, that, if you don't feel safe, then you shouldn't have signed that contract. I'm but, sorry. I'm just coming from a business No, but I that don't. Is, he is coming from business, too, because if you think about it, the thing is, it's not just him that's going to lose out on money if he didn't do that exactly. tour. Exactly. You have four other people that are looking to you like, hey, Let's we need we, we need, need to we complete need that B2K. tour would have been they, they could have still survived without Raz No, no, they couldn't have. No, I they mean, wouldn't. It, it, it would have jeopardized sales if people wanted yeah. to see the whole BTK. But my thing is, Honestly, not only that, the, yeah. only reason, the only reason why I do empathize <laughs> with Raz B is because like like Tana said, like it's completely different to sign on to do something and actually be in there. We don't know, you know, what mm-hmm. he's been through. He was the one who was actually actually vocal about Let's it. He came out yeah. mm-hmm. and said, like, that he was touched inappropriately and all this stuff. And so to, for him to go back, we don't know what kind of trauma was, you know, yep. brought back up. We don't know yeah. how hard it was from the practice. We don't know how hard it probably was for him to even be around Chris Stokes, yeah. you know? And so, like, I can't relate to that. So I, I can't tell somebody how to feel, how to feel in that exactly. situation. I can't tell yeah. somebody that... Oh, because you signed a contract, like you yeah. should, you, you're forced to feel comfortable. If you don't feel comfortable, and if you feel like you're losing yourself around people who did not believe you, stigmatized him, like people could label him crazy, labeled yep. him homosexual because he came out and said he was, you know what I mean? And this is somebody who came out and literally his all his castmates ago. came out and denounced him like that didn't yes. happen, like you know, like so he I was the only one. Like yeah. he was just yeah. like, they it. made him look like he was on drugs. Mm-hmm. They made it look like he was like some just crazy lunatic that was running around here. And it's like the thing is, nobody like? even really just like checked to see if there was any validity behind what he was saying. Mm-hmm. And so that has to suck to be, huh? You got text messages? Read that, out there? No, it's live. Oh, okay. Uh, I can't but read live. That has to suck for you to know that you've gone through something with other people and the other people are acting like they don't even know you. Yeah. I, are the yeah. other people his, his castmate? Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't be going back on tour with y'all. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm. I, 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 I wouldn't be doing all that. No, you did all that to me. But no, it's it's actually really not because honestly, at the end of the day, if someone publicly humiliated you on something that actually happened to you, I'm not dealing with y'all anymore. I don't care how much money he's gonna bring to you. I'm not dealing with y'all on anything because you didn't believe when a say if I a man a man touched me and violated me and y'all as my castmates didn't believe weren't there for me. Absolutely but, not. You but, will not eat reason, off me. The reason, Paula is, like, the reason no. why I said it's easier said than done because Rasby at one point was doing very bad. So yes. It's my, it, like, as in... Right. Like, it's so just suicidal like, hotline. Like, Nobody's going to act like no, he exactly. was doing porn? Yeah. 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 Was was he? Yeah. Like, honestly, he was, like, it's just... He was doing but, porn, smoking a cigarette. But not only that, you online. You can't even get mad at his casting because Rasby didn't only come out for himself. Rasby came out and said Chris Stokes was doing this to Most all of us. Yeah. So I mean, they have the choice to decide. That's like someone getting raped. Like they, have, someone be like, "Oh, she told me she got raped," but she be like, "No, I didn't." Like you know what I mean? Like it's up for them to decide whether or not they want to disclose their truth, whether or not they want to face the audience or face the population and tell people like this is what happened to us. So Rasby can't get mad at somebody because they don't want to go through that public scrutiny that he himself went through. So I feel like at the end of the day he kind of empathized with them. But at the end of the day, like because me personally, like I'm not pressed for cash. I don't know what it feels like to not be able to make an income. Like look what happened to old boy from uh the Cosby show. You can't go and just work at Walmart because you get ridiculed and all the other stuff. So like it puts them in a position where I mean at the end of the day, once you're in the industry, the only real way you can make money is to turn back to the industry. Yes. You know? So, like, I can't fault him for trying to make a dollar. You know what I mean? We have the... We, well, I mean, we're blessed enough where we don't have to... We don't know what it's like 
that to we have to go back to like somebody that, who yeah. molested us. That's our only source yeah. of income, you know? Yeah. And hopefully, I mean, God willing, we'll never have to experience that. But right. I feel yeah, that. No, I agree. But, okay, so y'all were talking about Michael Jackson earlier. Mm. I know that there's a lot of different opinions in the room. Let's just try to, you know, just say however it is that you feel. You seem to be the most vocal, Paulette. I just feel like, honestly, if y'all were in court and y'all said that he did not touch you, then you turn around 10 years later and say, oh, yeah, all this happened, this and that, and now all of a sudden a documentary is coming out that's so one-sided, clearly. I'm not, I have a problem with that because, honestly, you're disrespecting not only... It doesn't matter about Michael, but you're disrespecting his family, not only his children that are still here, that are out here without a father, and that's wrong. Like, Because if that was them, they wouldn't appreciate that someone's doing that to their parents or father. Okay. So I just don't see... But the same thing you said. What if he was sponsoring their whole lifestyle exactly. until he died? And that's why I feel like I'm just saying. I'm not saying it's right, but... Yeah, I'm not saying it's right either. And I, don't, I personally didn't watch the documentary. I didn't either. And I haven't gotten a chance to watch oh, the documentary. Am I the only one that did? But from what I've heard See, and I, from the documentary, I, think it just, I refuse it just, to watch I that think documentary. That's no, one and of the and that's a, this is the thing. And this, right now, is my, on, this is my thing. Finish. Like with the whole, like I've I've seen clips, and then I've heard like people talk about it. Mm -hmm. And from what I've heard, there's very disturbing things in there, and it sounds very pedophile like. Mm -hmm. So let's call a spade a spade. Like at the end of the day, dead or alive. Like yes, we don't want to cancel, or we don't want to treat Michael Jackson as whoever because he's the greatest. But like I said, let's call it spade a spade. There were some very disturbing things in there. Who am I to be like, oh, those boys were lying? Is it right? No, because, yes, you did stand in front of the court of law and say that this didn't happen. I, yeah, but at the end of the day, like, I feel like whatever... Some I can't, I can't just be like, everything they said was a lie. I can't. Yeah, and see, the thing is, I think that a lot of people are speaking on it, and they all have the same argument, which is what you said, is that they lied in the court the of law. The first time, yeah. So, but the, but the documentary actually, like, even focuses on that. So the documentary states that they were, like, 14 years old whenever they got um, called to, like, go and speak and, like, testify on Michael's behalf, right? So mind you, Michael started grooming these kids whenever they were five. So the scenario that I give is that if I bring a five-year-old in here and I, and I keep a five-year-old in my house and I tell a five-year-old that you're a dog from the ages of five to 14... You're going to believe it's a dog. The, the child is going to believe that they're a dog. So anything that you tell a five-year-old, they're going to go with. Exactly. So Michael had these children believing that they were in love with him. Allegedly. Well, allegedly. But Michael had these children believing that they were, and like there was like a love there. And that he was filling some sort of void that those kids had in their life. Because one of the little boys, his, um, his whole family moved here except for his dad. And Michael was kind of like, you know, oh, don't worry about your dad. You know, blah, blah, blah. Like saying all these little things to him about his dad. His dad ended up committing suicide. They left him in Australia and moved here. Left him behind. The dad committed suicide like shortly after they all left. So they, they went and testified for him, yes, because at that time, they thought that what they were doing with Michael was love. They thought it was love. So they got called to testify again a second time. I think they were like 21. They were like 21 or something like that. So one of the boys, Michael, called him and was like, hey, you know, basically, I need you. And um, the boy was like, I'm not doing it. He's like, I'm not testifying on your behalf. I'm not doing it. So Michael was like, you know, I have really powerful attorneys, and this will really backfire on you. He told me, he's like, Michael, do whatever you want to do. So what people are failing to realize is that both of them didn't testify twice. Only one of them testified twice. The other boy testified. Michael called him and was like, hey, I need you. And he was like, I don't want to do it. Michael subpoenaed him two days later. He had to go to court. So he went and he testified. He testified and basically said the same thing. Like, but did he have to see? See, but here's the disconnect. Mm -hmm. Just because you got subpoenaed for a second time doesn't mean you have to go a second time and lie. But the thing I'm is, he was and, and a, Michael Jackson does not have the power to subpoena somebody. It was the courtroom that said, "Okay, the court we need to." Okay, but they got him subpoenaed. But at that time. The boy was a huge choreographer in the music industry. But the, okay. that's the thing, and a lot okay. of people have come out and said that, that, like, they already said that this person, like, whatever he's saying is, or he's already a bad person. Oh. Like, he lies about stuff. Whatever he's doing right now is to collect a check. And two, one of my thing about my issue with the documentary is that 
yeah, you're focusing so much on the Bozo case, so why are you not bringing the, the prosecutors in, the family members that dealt with that stuff, other people? Maybe There's they so just want to focus on the whole story. Because that's one-sided. There's so many sides to that story. That's not, my, my you know is, what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, that's not what the focus was about. If, it, if he did or not, it was their story. It was their story. Yeah. So why, no, do I I need to, why do I need to bring other people if I'm telling okay. my story? To verify because, okay. what you said. Not only that, but I think that's my issue with it. Like, it's like, it's your story now, okay? Because I feel like Wade himself has been somebody who's been very drawn to the spotlight for a very long time. He's been somebody who's aligned himself with Michael Jackson for a very long time it wasn't up That's until it wasn't up until just recently when he tried to get head choreography or whatever and they passed him over to somebody else that's when all of a sudden he went anti Michael Jackson, tried to sue the estate and lost, and then all of a sudden you bounced back with this documentary. Mm-hmm. On top of that, a lot of his facts or whatever that he said in his documentary, they've already been fact checked. A lot of things in the documentary have already been proven wrong. So That's, what was proven wrong? I don't know like I don't want to say anything and I'm on record for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. But that's the only reason why I'm just like Kind of like, and I've been anti it from the start just because I'm just like, the way I feel about Michael Jackson is just I feel like he's already been through this. So, like, if this was the first time around, like with R. Kelly, I would understand. Like, I'd be like, you know, blinded, like going through with it. But the fact that it's like somebody who's already what? who's already been through yeah. trial. No, 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 okay, okay. No. R. Kelly has no. evidence. No, no, There's a big no, difference. Like, no. So, you have. No, no, okay, okay. Else no, 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 no. R. Kelly has Please. evidence. No, no. Why does there no. have to be evidence no, of child no. molestation? No, no, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, the first time, if you saw how Michael Jackson died, Michael Jackson did not even get vindicated until after his death. You know what I mean? Like, that's big to me. So, it's like, for the simple fact that there are people who went out on record, sat there, and plotted to blackmail this man. People sat up and, like, literally came out. Even the, the, the father of the son who went out and ended up committing his, himself because the story is about to come out, he's about to get exposed. People came out to the black man and extorted him for money. And after that, the FBI did a 10-year investigation, found nothing. So, like, so I'm saying, with all these things and with all these facts, like, when somebody comes out and they're already, like, they have a checkered past, like, their story isn't adding up, the fact checks aren't adding up, the documentary is so one-sided, it just doesn't even seem like it's trying to be, like, how, how to explain, like, it's not even seem like they're trying to get... Or spread awareness. It just seems like anything. there's an agenda it, in play. It and just like, seems like they're honestly, telling their story. It. it seems like they're just trying to tell their story for a check and try to tell the story for a spotlight. they didn't get compensated for it, no. Exactly. They got paid for so, that. So, you know? so for they're me, paid. being who I am, I have to take a step back, and I can't take everything at face value. I have to look at all the facts. So and then watch the documentary. Huh? I'm not watching that. I'm not watching it. No, no, no. And that's my, why I feel the biggest mm, issue is that, like, just, just, y'all are not watch, getting my view and then getting my coin. No, 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 exactly. Based off of what you said. No, You're not getting no, my coin. No, my off thing it. is, I'm, no. not gonna, I'm not going to watch a movie. Like, if, if you really want to sit up here and say something, if you really want to come out here with facts and all that stuff, do that. But I'm not going to sit up here and put a coin in your pocket if I feel like. I'm, I don't don't feel like it's authentic, and they're they're already coming out. He already came out and said. First, he came out and said, "Oh, my memory is good." And then he even came out because everybody came out and said, well, "Okay, what you're saying now is different." What you said back then, he mm-hmm. came out and said, "Oh, my memory is still evolving." What does that mean? Your memory is still evolving. So what you're basically saying is, "Okay, I know I'm getting caught in a lie, so let me go ahead and say like, this is why." No, you, you don't think. Do, okay, so let me ask you this: Do you remember everything from whenever you were five? No. Do you remember yeah. everything from whenever you were six? No. You remember no, everything no, no, from whenever you were seven? Okay. You remember everything from yesterday. No. no. Okay. But you would so, remember everything that is traumatizing. Quote unquote, tragic. No, or traumatizing. Okay. People, there are Some people, people cover things up yeah, like that, though. there are people who are going through molestation, and they will block physically put, block things out and put themselves well, in. Like, you've heard stories about girls who are being raped, and, and they're like, I, forget they're, about they're, they're completely they out of it. Right. And, then, so, and then they hear a song, and like, oh, And something shit. will trigger it. Yeah. So I don't but, but they don't go on record and say that this is fact, this is fact, this is fact. The people come back and say, okay, well, actually, this part's not a fact. And you'd be like, okay, okay, well, I know I said I remembered everything, but I don't. This is what it is now. This is what it is now. And I'm not even saying that Michael Jackson is innocent. I'm not saying that Wade Robert, Ray Robinson is innocent. I'm just saying that. The whole entire situation is so sketchy that I'm not giving it like I'm not giving it a second look. At this point, God gotta judge it. That's just yeah. how I feel. Well, God didn't already judge it ten years ago. Now that's so. what I'm saying. God so gotta judge it. I can't put no energy into it. So basically, in the documentary, they were saying that Michael was molesting them. They were saying that. Um, so basically, they said that it was like levels to his molestation. So he would start off with like doing little small things. He would bring them to his house. Their mom would Their stay. Whole family yeah, the whole family. <clears throat> the mom would stay like next door, and then the next time they came, the mom would go to another floor, and then it got to a point where they were coming to his house, and the mom was in like a completely different guest house. That's the mom's fault. It's like separate, and I mean the parents are to blame also, but I think at that time, I think at that time the parents were also starstruck because let me okay. He so this, created no, this, whole like, this is the best way that I put it, right? So 
Well, okay, so we have a little sister. She's 16 years old, right? So let's say, um, let's say she was a little bit younger. Let's say she was maybe 11. She knows who Drake is. Drake comes in the room and is like, oh, my gosh. Do you guys want to come to my, my huge house in Toronto? I want to show you guys around. I have... Um, I have a full amusement park. I have a pet giraffe. I got pet monkeys. The type of parents I have, no. We're not but, no, but I'm saying... We wouldn't is, be there, No, <laughs> like, what I'm saying yeah. is is that it's no, still... It's tough. that vision of being starstruck. Okay, no. There's so much no. stuff. It's, it's so much... Exactly. Yeah. As a mom and as an older sister... Brittany. She wouldn't be but there. But you're Brittany. thinking, you're as thinking a, molestation and everything coming out alive. As, as a mom, I, have a question. I would go. As a, but as a, thank you. But as a mom, would my kids be staying in the room with Drake? No, Hell that's, no. But that's I, the thing, like, I couldn't even go to my friend's house. I'm not going to Drake's like, house. Yeah, but because no, we have same parents. Yeah. But think about it. But Brittany, as a mom, you, will you send your daughter? Like, I wouldn't send my daughters nowhere. My, my, my daughters nowhere. It's not about exactly. I understand that. But would you send your kids? Oh. R. Kelly said, oh, yeah, I'll get her to our uh, studio session. Will you send your daughter there by herself? No, no we're, or going, are you going we're going. With I just think we're looking we're at going. it from our points of view because we're, we're we got a two-hour session. It's not about but point of view. It's he, about what... Come yeah, on it, now. It, like, it is point of view because you're speaking parent, from your point of view. But what I'm saying is... From a parent's point of view, come on now. Like, why would you send your I kid for a I think we're not making it right. I think we're getting the idea of being starstruck. Yes, and that's what I'm saying. I'm not making it right. Because they're trusting these celebrities and not thinking that, oh, they could be sick, too. Like, you wouldn't do it, but that doesn't mean that Becky, Sue, John, or the multi billionaire who has no business doing or no reason to do it would do it. But then the blame can be put on both people. You can't just blame one person. Because oh no, I don't think we're not it's blaming one person. No, I here's think all I'm saying. Is, about R. Kelly too. This is my issue, and this is my biggest issue. Right. The thing is, if y'all want to go after R. Kelly, go after him, okay? Because R. Kelly can stand up and say his point and say his side of the story. Michael Jackson has been dead for what? Ten years almost. Ten almost years. Ten years. And you're telling me... Every dog got their day? No, no, no. And you're no. telling me that this is now whenever you decide to come out? But this is the, the issue I have. No, and then... Okay, that's well, a very dangerous narrative as well. No, because he not. died, we you, can't say anything. And you can't tell somebody when to speak their piece. No. Yeah. What, was the, what was the outcome of the trial? He paid them, right? Yeah. Well, so he got acquitted of all eight well, the first time he, he got acquitted? He, the yes. first time... Yes. No, that's why he was on top of the car. I don't think he got acquitted. Yes, he, he got acquitted yes. that time. Jackson did get acquitted. I got a second time I, 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 I pull up receipts on that one. He got acquitted the second case. time. The first time he settled out of court. That's what I'm saying. He settled. But not not because he was found guilty. Yeah, he's but still he settled. He settled. Out he wasn't found guilty. You Tana. think a child? But you think I, a child is gonna come in? You here? sound like R. Oh. Kelly saying I got acquitted. No, but, it was a mistrial. <laughs> but, but, difference. <laughs> but even in that first case, he ended up committing suicide because a guy came out. The boy came out and said my parents forced me to lie for money. And when they knew it was gonna come to news, the dad committed suicide. That's why I'm just like I, I mean, understand. But the thing is, Hannah, I, under, I understand what you're saying. However. There are people out here that will take take advantage of celebrities because they know they got it yes, and they will settle. Course. But at the same time, and there so are celebrities out here that will take advantage of people. True. But but look, Dana, you're saying starstruck, right? Imagine somebody who's starstruck because they see a star, and imagine someone who's starstruck by the starlight. People will do anything for fame, and just because you have morals and you feel like you will never, somebody who sat here and fought to be a part of Michael Jackson's legacy, and when he got denied, it's tearing you know it down. I mean? And now, as soon as you got denied, you bounce back and, and try to sue, and when you lost the lawsuit, then you bounce back and do a documentary for pay. No, you have you have to think about that. This is my thing, and I agree with Michelle one hundred percent, and I also agree with Tana. But my thing with the whole situation is that like. The re is society. It's not even Michael Jackson in itself. It's just society because people are choosing to just, oh, well, he didn't do it. How do you, like, just turning a blind eye to the fact that, like, there were some things that were very disturbing. <laughs> like, re re regardless of him molesting him or not, you slept with them little boys. You had them little boys sleep in your bed. That is disturbing, yes. period. I don't care how you try to spin it. I don't care who you are. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like... People are just, you cannot turn a blind eye to shit that's, like, obviously disturbing. And like you can't just call it weird, you either. You can't, no. Like, that's another thing. People are like, oh, why oh, he's he's Michael Jackson. Jackson. I that's, wouldn't do it, but, but just, I mean. Just, and this is my thing. I just feel like because it's Michael Jackson, that that's their excuse for it. Like, no, like, there's a lot of, no. But but I don't even think so, because I feel like I was very cognizant of the time of, I remember watching the Michael Jackson documentary, seeing all the other stuff, and I feel like we already went through all that with all these kids, so I feel like, okay, this is all kind of, like, What's that word called? Like, when something flashes? Deja, Deja vu. Deja vu. Like, we've done this all before. We all thought it was what We all thought he was guilty for all these reasons. And they came out, and it was just like... It's like his innocence. Up, Everybody came out. skeletons yeah, again. It's like, and, they've already been addressed. Just because he's innocent doesn't make it right. Like, O.J. Simpson so, was innocent. Crystal, Thank Crystal, you. the same thing. Like, so are we going to still talk... 
Talk about something else. There's people that are currently doing this. Talk and about that's them. And that's a fact, too. Talk that's about a, them. Not that's someone that's, that's laying tra- underneath. That's a fact they as well. They just down and can't see, even talk is, about this, nothing. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's like Jesse issue. Smollett. That's not, I feel like. Not even that. This is my issue with society. Just like you're saying, okay, let's talk about the people that's doing whatever's wrong. But when R. Kelly, that whole situation came out, people was like, oh, well, y'all talk about canceling this, 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 that. But no, we're focused on this one person. It's like a double standard. And I think that's something else that kind of bothers me about it as well is because, okay, whenever the R. Kelly thing came out, it was this big push about we have to believe black girls. We have to believe young black girls. We have to protect young black girls. And then the Michael kids come out and everybody's like, oh, you motherfucking liar. Michael would never. And it's like, it's not just about, we do have to believe and we do have to trust young black girls, but it's not just about believing and trusting young black girls. We have to believe and trust kids, period. We have to protect so here's the children. Thing. So the thing is, so I just people, the thing is, I'm actually really tired of people trying to compare the Michael Jackson case to R. the R. Kelly case. They're two, two different, different cases. Different. They are one, two different. No, things, look, but they still involve child no, molestation. One has evidence. And one doesn't. And one. One's hearsay. And one is one hearsay. hearsay. So, and no, no. If and the video came out, Hannah. because, okay. And no, no, no. Let me on, finish. On let me the, finish. What y'all saying? What y'all saying? you want to watch child porn? No, no, let me finish. Let me oh finish. Oh, my God. Is that, the is second that one. Saying? The second one not only has not only does it have evidence, physical evidence, has evidence it now has it. it has witnesses. The same witnesses that are claiming now that they were molested testified twice. Someone has been acquitted. Already for a crime. Michael Jackson's maid. Based on your testimony. Michael Based Jackson's on your testimony. Someone's dead. Michael Jackson's so, so maid. The, 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 the only video said that wasn't her. There's so she many witnesses said it wasn't there's her. There's so many what's differences. The difference? what, what's, what's the difference? The difference? She said it wasn't okay. her. She can say it's not her, the, but uh, the, the physical the evidence is physical yeah. evidence. She never what's testified. That's why it was her family testified. But she never it's not about her family, it's the girl. And she never testified, bam, that's why he won. No, she never got on the stand to say that was me and this. So Who he was always about? gonna win. Your family can't tell, can't sit yeah. there See, and back you up okay. in court. So it's look, you. I don't know. It happened. To I you. mean, I feel like just everybody has like. I know that Michael Jackson is like a very sensitive topic for people, and I get it. And don't get me wrong. Whenever I watched it, I went into it like with Open an objective mind, mind yeah. because I was just like. I'm not really a big fan of Michael, don't get me wrong. Like, Michael got some jams and everything, but it, I, I'm not, like, I'm not going to die if I find out that he's nasty. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna, I, if I find out that he's okay, then I'm going to be, oh, okay, well, cool. Michael is still fine. But I'm going to tell you one thing. After watching that documentary, I don't want to ever fucking hear Thriller again in my life. And let me tell you something. After watching the R. Kelly one, right. I told you, like I said on our two sure episodes ago. Hidden Code? Girl, no. what's the dude just let saying stop you. comparing the two? Look, after is watching, it it, okay, we're talking about documentaries. After watching R. Kelly, I'm indifferent. I don't have a stance on that because I'm not gonna lie. I, I think, and then what I'm about to say, I don't want you to come for me. This is but contradicting. I'm just yeah, saying, it, it, how it, is it, it contradicting? contradicting? If you watch the R. Kelly documentary, you, if some people are very much indifferent. What's wrong with me feeling that way? What's wrong with me being indifferent about it? You Honestly, can have your opinion. It can go either way. It can go either way. Some stories that, to me, did not make sense. And some stories, I'm just like, you know what? Yeah, R. Kelly did it. But some stories, I'm just like, okay, you know what? Are you just here for, for that cast? You know what I'm saying? So, no. Okay, let's be different. Yeah. Yeah, you will. We, we, not, we can't we'll agree. To yeah, we're not going to agree. Yeah. Literally. R.I.P. Michael Jackson. Girl. Fuck Michael Jackson. R. Kelly. Okay. Nasty ass. Nasty ass. Girl, fuck Michael Jackson. Uh, terrible. Terrible. And I cannot yeah. wait I to hear y'all whenever it all comes out that it's false. And then y'all gonna be, oh my gosh, the, the whole Jesse Smollett again. Why would he lie? I don't, I don't, Why I would he lie? I'm not saying that he's, I'm not saying that he's, he's, I'm not saying that he's guilty. I'm not saying that he's innocent. I don't, like, in my, the point I'm trying to make, I don't give a damn about both. It's just society. Thank you. you know what I'm saying? Like, it's society. It's the That's way the main thing. We don't, give, like, we don't give a shit. I, I don't. It's I don't just the way fuck. society is handling it. It's just like cancel culture. Like, y'all pick and choose who y'all want to cancel, but it's like the same energy does not apply to everybody and all things. That That's just my thing. I don't care if we got a nasty millionaire or if we have a nasty thousandaire. In my book, they're both nasty. I mean, <laughs> I, I feel, okay, what I would say is I would encourage all of y'all to go and, and, research Ray Robinson and his timeline, and y'all will understand what I see, because I just don't understand somebody who came out and had raving reviews to say about Michael Jackson less than 10 years ago, when he didn't get chosen for the whole, that whole Michael Cirque Soleil thing, whatever. Two years later, you sued, sued the estate, 
when it gets dismissed, two years later you come out with a documentary. It doesn't make any sense. Like it's just like it seems vindictive. It seems like you didn't get your money. You filed a billion dollar lawsuit. It got dismissed. You're doing another lawsuit right now. So you, I don't know. To me, it's just like when money's involved, I have to look at people differently. I so, agree too. But I mean, like I said, yeah, I you know, <laughs> it takes a it takes a lot of money to run a child sex ring. Yeah. How do you feel about Oprah, though? Wow. About Oprah doing the interview with Oprah him? gives a side-eye, too. No, I'm very, gonna, I'm gonna, very I'm gonna, I'm gonna big side-eye. Her and Gail. Gail's cool, but her and Gail are getting side-eyes. Gail Key? Who else? There's only one Gail that we acknowledge. Oprah and Gail. Oprah's best friend. <laughs> who's other Gail? <laughs> I was saying, who's other Gail? Somebody Oh, definitely. I'm like, no. Gail Key? Okay, let's make sure. Yeah, but... Oprah's Gail, is her last name King? Yeah. That's the one I'm talking about. I, they're all getting yeah. side-eyed. I'm sorry. No. My okay. thing is, Michael, Michael Jackson ain't fuck with Oprah on record. So for you to do the after show, bitch, it's big beef. Oprah, Oprah already know what it is. Yeah, she already yeah. knew what it is. So hell yeah, she was going to jump on the interview. Knew what it was. But real quick, okay, so since you brought up the Gail, uh, the interview with Rod Kelly, really fast. Did you guys watch the interview? Did y'all watch the clips? I watched the clips. clips. So did y'all see whenever she was like, have you ever had sex with anyone underage? Yeah. And he was like, no. I never have. I wasn't I've paying. Never I wasn't looking it. that hard. No, but, um, it was very clear. And then she asked him something else. And what was the second question? She was like, "Do you have anyone that you were holding against their no, hostage?" No. She was asked like, the question. Do you no, think anything like, that yeah. happened in your childhood has affected you to today? He yes. Said no. He said no. He I had a problem with his answer in that one. He shook his head. Yeah. So. I went on this like YouTube like rabbit hole or whatever, and I came across, <laughs> I came across this lady who was a um, a body language specialist. Isn't everybody whenever no, comes no, trying no, to be no, one? No, she's been on CNN and everything. Like she's done plenty of trials, all that she's stuff. She's been waiting for this article. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 this is my time. I'm gonna make a YouTube no, she has, video. Like, a whole... This is my time. <laughs> she has a whole like YouTube series. She has a whole YouTube series where you she goes. Every episode. <laughs> now you tried it, but anyways, um, so. Really quick, so she was talking about his interview with Gail, mm-hmm. and she was talking about how he was, like, shaking his head. And so what she said is that your brain is not set up to lie. Mm-hmm. So and when you think about it, aren't lies always hard to remember? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So she was saying your brain's not set up to lie. So when Gail asked him, have you ever done anything inappropriate with somebody underage, he was saying no, but he automatically shook his head. Like, And there's and always an exception for a sociopath. So no, I don't. He was I'm not listening. He wouldn't have shook anything. So I'm not. I'm not listening to that. I, I think that was his drugs. Like, no, I don't think he was on drugs. drugs. He was sober. No, he was sober. He was sober. He was, he was sober. very sober. It was really. That's when he started sweating. That's why you are another attorney now. That's why. That's why he's fishing for another attorney right now. I thought he was on violence. And his other attorney came out and was like, "He guilty." When he was like, when Gail asked him, "Does he like young women?" He was like, "I like all women." I'm like, I think I'm an older man. He like young girls. That's just his name. All women who are legal. Nigga, bye. Yeah. And he said. Eagle. I said, I, okay. I should have said when he was like, y'all not finna double jeopardy me. I was like, yes, that's not. That. Yeah, I was like, wait, we have to remember, R. Kelly like, is illiterate. He can't yeah. read, he can't like, write. Yeah, like, he was saying whatever. Why he, like, he write songs what? then? He, Girl, just, he sings he the loud. Was he was like, yes. literally he like. He like drum line. He said, like, like, ESPN like, or something. Yeah. ESPR. He said, I don't, he wasn't I don't sitting there on ESPR. paper and I don't have ESPR. I'm yeah, just, weirdo. He was fighting for his innocence all kind of wrong. I mean. Yeah, if everyone, ESP. If everyone, somebody he couldn't read mine. He meant like ESP. If everyone's praising <laughs> Gail for how she responded to when he got up <laughs> and was like almost in her face. I commend her for keeping her cool. Because yeah. any other, um, I feel like any other lady would have been like, "You need to sit down." My sir, rabbit hole security. that I went down, she focused off. on that too. She killed me when she, she was like, standing up. "Robert, yeah, so, Robert." <laughs> that's, that's a black mama who knows, like, she's so guilty ass down, she's so black ass down, she's so bitch ass down. I'm gonna fight all ass down for my chance. Gail, she wants to take her belt off. No, literally. But then Gail's been, oh, that's the thing. That's whatever. Honestly, I thought you should have cried. Shout out to Gail. <laughs> That's a strong black woman. All right, we are completely off topic from Rasby Chris Stokes, but we're oh, wow. here. So let's go ahead and go on over to our next topic. Let's do 100 rounds. YBN Almighty J. Oh my Robbery. God. Robbery. Jory. Shout out to Jay Prince <laughs> for fighting for his people, per usual. Yeah. Gang, gang. Black China. Cut up. Oh, shit. Um, yes. music? I was like, what is your music? A whole city. A uh, uh, car stroller. Beat up on Shade Room. <laughs> Stabbed. Namir. Chain snatched. Mm. 
I don't know. <laughs> I ain't thinking of that all. One. That's his old career. Okay, so last weekend, <laughs> <laughs> last weekend, YBN Almighty J, who we all know was dating China, was that last year? Yeah. He was dating China? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So over the weekend, he was in New York, and he actually got jumped and robbed in a hotel lobby. Um, How and does that apparently, hotel? no yeah. security. Nothing. These boys run by themselves. Run, just run alone. They protect they, each other. So apparently, um, the boys that actually had uh, jumped him, they actually hit him over the head with a Hennessy bottle, and they cut his face, and his face is pretty messed up. I'm Don't not gonna lie. Jewelry. They said that he actually um, had to receive 300 stitches in his mm. face. That picture of that? Yeah, that's a picture. It's very, it's it's hard to He's look like at. He's like a big, it's like a big it's guy. Like, even yeah, on his little, did y'all see how say cheese? They dropped his like visuals for his new song. He's Uh-oh. on there with the. I'm like, boy, you could let this heal. He said <laughs> he had to get on while he could. Um, so and then his jewelry got stolen from him as well. The videos were all over the internet of him running. Uh, which shit, I don't blame him for running. Yeah, yeah, like you cut my face, nigga. Right. How would he not run? And so the chain that was actually stolen from him was his Rap a Lot Records chain. Um, and Jay Prince is like the owner, creator, all that good stuff of Rap a Lot. Which so, I didn't even know. I didn't either. Mm-hmm. I didn't, like when he came out of the wood, I was like, "What is really good?" Jay Prince is nobody to play with. Facts. Yeah, nobody at all. That's Facts. why I was just like, "Who?" When Jay Prince came out, I was like, "I have a question." Yeah. Do y'all think the alchemist has YBN Almighty made? I've never. I don't, no, don't know. I didn't know YBN was even signed to. Rap. I was like, "This is all new information." Yeah. A lot yeah. of people don't know. I didn't know he was a rap a lot, and I didn't know that. Yeah, I was like, "You pick music." I thought he was just like a. Not knew he was a rapper. Okay, wait, Paula. I know YBN the man. NBA young boy never broke again is the only NBA I acknowledge. We talking about YBN. Oh. Yeah. Is his name not NBA? No, his name's YBN Almighty J. What is that? What is that? NBA? No, there's another there's another YBN. Um, what's NBA? No, it's a, oh, okay. the other boy who sings. YBN who, the Mirror. Yeah, he got the Mirror. Stuff. YBN yeah. is like a whole, it's a whole, whole group. Yeah, yeah. YBN. Like is a, yeah, yeah. No. the Mirror is like good. Ryan, okay, yeah. So that's what you're thinking of, but yeah. NBA Young Boy is not. His own. He's not a part of that group. Okay, but his has YBN in his name, right? No. Okay. And in, in NBA? NBA. <laughs> Yo, it is. It's it's it is. When, when no, it is. It, it's like Young no, Boy Paula Never actually Broke is. Again. Yeah, well, YBN is in NBA? No. Because, no, because it's, when you listen to Young Boy music, Never Broke Again. Yes, Young Boy Never Broke Again. So yes, Young YBN. Boy Never Broke YBN. Again. YBN. Yeah. It is YBN. Th- thank you, guys. Different Because I'm like... But they're different. Yeah. Okay. No, but you're forgetting the A on again. Young Boy Never Broke Yeah, but she again? sees YBN. Young Boy is, Never Broke Go ahead, Tana. Go ahead, Tana. It's fine. I thought they were all in the same group. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so uh, Jay Prince actually hopped on the internet, and I was actually shocked that Jay Prince even posted something. But he said, mob ties call to all my real street niggas around the world, mm. but especially on the East Coast in the Bronx. I felt like he was like, hoo Okay. <laughs> There's a clown by the name of Zay and his crew who wants to become famous by bragging about robbing rap industry niggas. Mm. They recently bragged about robbing the artist YBN Almighty J, whom I'm invested in. They've robbed him of his money and jewelry, including a rap a lot piece. So therefore, they have robbed a piece of me. So the boy that he is claiming, his name is actually Zay Number Five, and he responded on the internet. And whenever I saw the J Prince that responded, I was like, watch these young niggas get on the internet and be like, Act Act stupid. Stupid. fuck this old nigga. Act I'll just fuck. Well, these <laughs> children don't give a fuck. Look. They do not respect us. Right. No. So Zay hopped hey, on the yeah. internet and said, I don't have YBN's chain. Uh, I don't know how he got cut. Don't wish that on nobody. And I don't know why people calling us goons, trying to label us. Y'all don't know the real story. And he denied having any involvement with it. Like he said, because the police is real. Bingo. Not even the police, Jay Prince is real. Bingo. <laughs> but then now I'm hearing that like boys actually on the internet showing the chain, talking about Online. suck my dick. What? <laughs> and, here's the, and here's the thing about that, though. The, because they, uh, they number five? 6 9 did the same shit and told Jay Prince's son to suck his dick. And Jay Prince Sr. was like, when another man tells you to suck his dick, you're willing to That's die behind friend. your I'm motherfucking you. statement. So... That's why society in the situation he in. You fuck with Jay Prince. I'm telling y'all, this old oh boy, he gonna go missing. Period. That's why I said. I'll say that when you go on the white, you better know how to swim. Better know how to swim. You basically basically saying like you talk all that, you better be able to handle that shit. Like <sighs> it's unfortunate. You yeah, see man. what you see what happened to uh Triple X. You know what I mean? That mob ties ain't no joke. I you know? Mean, no joke. Sheesh. You, you, you said that. Sheesh. Okay. We know what happened, guys. Yeah. But no, nah, I guess we're gonna see what's gonna happen. I mean, no, like, I'm not gonna. I'm, I hopefully, can be honest, he can have a I don't really care about this story. Like, I did not know he was a very big person. Like, Who? when YBN got 
robbed. I was just like, it don't oh, have nothing okay. to do with him. It has everything to do with what he, he stole. He said, stole you stole chain. from me. Yeah. Like, I gave that nigga that chain, and you stole it. You stole from so me. So why does it your investment have security? Girl. He okay. has his hands in everything. He's also, like, you know, it, he's... But like, I everywhere. don't get these celebrities. I mean, is why being a celeb considered a celebrity? Yeah, yeah. we talked. So yeah. why are you not walking around with security and you're wearing all these? He may not be able to afford it. It gets expensive. Then don't be going out with that. Like, do you, do you, does that make sense? But he's, he's also he's, he's like, also young. young. He's a young boy, <laughs> and I think he has a, he probably comes from the streets. You know what I'm saying? So he, I don't to need him, security around me. Yeah, yeah. to yeah. him, it's I'm like you see, and they say he had his homeboys with him. They're just outnumbered. Yeah, you see NBA young boy like NBA young boys ready to fight anytime. Anytime. I don't care if you have Bruce Lee with you. If there are 16 <laughs> niggas, he can't hit all of them. <laughs> like, yeah, like, I'm in a top flight yeah. security. Shit. I mean, yeah, but it's just like... Okay. No, that's when, you had, that's when you need a gun. Yeah, I was about to say, that's at the time. You don't need security. You need a shooter. Damn. Basically, that part. Absolutely not. But that's what your security is. Huh? huh? <laughs> so if they would have stabbed him to death? Right. Really? They, like, easily the cut... You they they cut him with the chain? Are you saying they cut him with the chain, like, try to take it off his neck? That's, that's not, not good. The chain ain't gonna no, stab him. Okay. I'm not bringing... I'm not bringing... <laughs> Uh, security to a, a Hennessy fight. I'm bringing a gun. That was kind of close to his neck. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I feel you. That's what I'm saying. Fuck that. Yeah, but no. So, Hennessy bottles are sharp too. Girl, and they, and they, they, they heavy. They once they break, break. and they hit him over the head with it first too. <laughs> yes. yes, they hit him over the head with it, and so then they, once they it broke, they plotted. They plotted. I would have fell out after he walked in the room. I would have ran off when they first started coming. Listen, I'm not even going to 911 on my way ready. Isn't that how they found him, though? Because he was parading around, like, Instagram, like, on live, talking yeah. about, oh, I got this, I got this on, ain't got no security, da 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 da, da. Oh, so he told them that he Dumbass. ain't he yeah. have coverage? Yeah. But that's just young you're, shit. You're, you're like young Is that shit. young shit? That's just stupidity. I, I think it's young shit, because we've all been places before. I don't do that. So you've never went live at a restaurant before? No. Absolutely not. You've, we don't you just that. went live here. I like my oh, okay. Visit, okay. But I have coverage. Hey, <laughs> girl, who is your house right now? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm telling you, you, you well, let's follow us. <laughs> 12 people show up in here trying to whoop your ass. We can try. No, nigga, y'all better be connected with <laughs> They bring out a Hennessy bottle. <laughs> Shit. You on your own, pal. Wait, there's seven of us. I don't want to have that So now of Dream Dolls with him? That's yeah. what I was confused. I was like, when did it Dream he I didn't posted, know that like, something like, thank, thank you. you. Dream, Dream Doll Dream Doll Like, y'all, like, y'all understand, like, these are crisis, crisis industry girls. Like, yeah. listen. Yeah, they're contracts. She's just trying to be China there. was the same thing. China was babysitting him. Him, him and Kim. Yeah. Is who, who, who is so she? Be, not that he's sitting at yeah, this point. Yeah, that's sad. Because I'm like, she got to be contract like, every other week. When are you going to stop? But why is that sad, though? That's yeah. a bag. At this why point, her reputation is already what shot. What is a bag? Holla, if she's getting paid to contract to be with these niggas, and we already feel a way about her, she, there's something she can do that's going to change how we look at her. So at the end of the day, continue to get your bag and do these contracts. I what can she, she do that's going to change? I'm going to still look at her at the hoe she is. Look, I mean, she wasn't... No. She a hoe now after she like was. Once you go down that, once you go down that path, there's really no turning back. Like it's not like she can come back and be like, I'm a wholesome girl. I feel like like we forget that China is like (laughs) China's background. (laughs) And China comes from a strip club in Miami. Strip club culture is just because you grew up in like a bad environment or whatever you were stripping I like, mean, you can't the she grew become up. like someone better but her mom but China, girl, China, China her was mom and her was at the, the same time that's what I'm saying she was she was behind what the is? curve already and I don't think Mike, it could have mattered what, yeah. what China did she was already behind on the curve everybody thinking you know she a hoe yeah. uh, anyway not, I mean, not I only that because they were talking about why is Tiger wife and a hoe when they were together and that was the first celebrity she was that room really to be knew. with that was like one of the big things because if you don't think remember like it was a really big deal that Tiger decided to wife up a stripper. Like, if you really think, but she was lucky a well-known stripper. Like she was, she was well-known. Come up than he was. No, that's what I'm saying. She was a very well-known stripper, but people were like, "Dang!" Like a rapper decided to like wife, wife up, up, like actually wife up a stripper. That was the first time. Like. China yeah. kind of led the way for for girls to start getting wiped up. But this up. was also after she was in a monster video. Like yeah. She, like, she like, doubled for Nicki Minaj yeah, several but, times. By then, like, they was even looking at her as, like, a stripper. Like, she was yeah. lucky. She was, like, 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 a bag. And yeah. at that point, she, she doubled? definitely she had stopped, bag. I feel like. She kind of yeah. like Nicki. Why she doubled? Yeah. She doubled as Nicki it's Minaj. It's because she had the. It's because she wore the Chinese. The bangs. Chinese thing. You could. You honestly coun't really tell. Yeah. I didn't even so know until I was. She like, came oh. out and said, "I was like, wow." 
But I low-key feel bad for Tony. If you think about her background, like, she grew up, the Kardashians befriended her, and then right from under her, took her whole baby daddy, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. From her, like, I'm sure, like, and this is somebody who, like, probably came up out the strip club, and, like, this is all she knows. I so forgot like, that happened to her. They created the savage then. They did. Yeah. That's all I, I mean, Tiger said it in that Breakfast Club interview. And then paraded said, their relationship all she over said, social media. Um, like, black child, whoever dates Black China now, like, they need to be prepared. Like, she's not, like, a regular girl anymore. She's, like, I feel like she's, she's a monster. monster. She got demons. Like, yeah, yeah, I feel like her demons are worse than a lot of people. They're look stuck at her mama, on her. Like, she can't shake them. Mm-mm. Even when I heard, like, Tokyo Tony, like, Loki abandoned her and didn't even come back to her life until she was grown, I was like, Not because yeah. you want money. That's Tokyo see, called her daughter a bitch and everything else. Said like, she hoped her children die or something like that. Yeah. I was yeah. like, you know what's you crazy? never see my kids. Stuff like that is savvy because I was actually at Walmart getting an oil change and, like, this boy was talking amongst his friends and, like, he was like, yeah, um... My mom said if I get a ride, she'll come back and pick me up. And the boy's like, dang, your mom's real. He's like, nah, not really. She's only fucking with me because I just got signed. I was like, <laughs> you just got signed to go play ball at UTSA? What, what money are you bringing in? What the fuck? It's the world it's 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 we a, live in. It's the, oh, potential. Yeah. No. no. Weird flex, weird flex, but okay. That's not that a weird flex. flex. No, but bring in money. But no. What if okay. it was true, though? Not a UTS thing. No, y'all know, sad, though, no, y'all y'all like, know getting, like, your mom don't even fuck with you. She only fuck with you because you are getting a full ride to college. No, that's just high school mentality. Like, you don't realize your mom been fucking with you, but now that you feel like and you're then, on, no, you're like, you like, like said, the mama. only reason why she's picking up is mama. because I filled up her gas tank. I said, Jesus. Oh, no, but you know what? There's a lot of parents out here who really do be charging their kids rent and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm making them pay their and way. Making them pay to, gotta pay a bill. When you turn yeah. 18, I don't know where you're going to go. No, like, you you need need out here. I need gas money. Yeah. Five dollars. Uh, here, when I turn 16, cut off. Really? There's a lot of parents like yes. that. That's a whole lot. A lot of, like, just be thankful. I couldn't ask for a ride nowhere. I didn't have school money, school clothes, none of that stuff. My parents cut me off when I turned 16. When I had my first job. There's a lot of parents that are like that. So, Dang. kids be out here really buying their own school clothes, buying their own school supplies. It's plenty of kids doing And that's it. another thing, too. Just like, a lot of growing people, up fast. Not even that. A lot of people, a lot of people's parents, they look to their children as come up. So when something like that does happen, that is a come up for them. Because it's like you have an, another source of income coming in. Like, mm-hmm. income that they didn't have when they were younger. So it's like you're playing ball. You're doing something you like. You got income coming in. That's a come up for me. You know what I'm saying? So. Just, uh, Speaking yeah. of hurts my up, heart. I think. Yeah. That's our last one. So let's go ahead and go over to our last topic. This shit here is wild. Um... Let's do a hundred rounds college. College? Scamming white people. <laughs> oh, drugs. Drunken nights. Ivy League. Degree. Tech. Adderall. <laughs> Love. Waste of time. Turning up. Walk of shame. Library. Sex. Party bus. <laughs> Walk in the class. <laughs> Oh, why is that always? I don't know. <laughs> no, like, no, no. I'm be so busy listening to other people's answers. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so this week, you know, we got some breaking news. Um, we we had a lot of we had a lot of black people that was acting up re- <laughs> recently. So I kind of knew that the white people were going to act up again. Come, their time was coming. Yeah, they were coming very <laughs> soon, very very soon. So um, this week it actually got released that. There was an investigation, and about 50 people, including 30 parents, have been indicted by the U.S. attorney in what they are calling what could be the biggest bribery scandal in college history. Mm. So a couple of the stars who were actually indicted was Lori Loughlin Mm -hmm. and Felicity Huffman. Uh, Felicity Huffman was on Desperate Housewives. And Lori Loughlin. Lori Loughlin is Aunt Becky from Full House. The twins' mom are Full House. Yeah. Jesse's wife. <laughs> Her. You know, she has a real husband. I okay. know, <laughs> but still, just so y'all put the picture I think, in. So, okay. Lo- I think Lori, Lori Loughlin is married to the designer. Massimo, yeah. which is the guy that's at Target. Mm-hmm. And then. Wow. Yeah. yeah. A bad. Okay, bitch. Wow. So, so why are you bribing people? No, because she has the money. Money to five hundred thousand dollars each is nothing to her. Yeah, but for her, for her twin, her two girls. So we'll get there. Never mind. So, and then Felicity Huffman, her husband is Frank from. Uh, is he Shameless. on ridiculous Shameless? From Shameless. I know that. Yeah, her husband's Frank. He's like the main character. So apparently, the um, the whole scandal included a bunch of like Ivy League colleges: Yale, Georgetown, Stanford, USC. UCLA, UCLA, UCLA yeah. Wake Forest University, University of Texas. Uh, University of San Diego and the University of, that's University of Southern California. 
Uh, so basically the parents, there was like a whole bribery scheme that they had going on where parents were paying for their kids' SAT and ACT scores to be changed. They were sending them to controlled testing centers where after the kid was done taking the test, they would go make changes. Or someone was taking the test for, for the kid. For them. Um, they, had kid, they had people who were signing up under their kids' names to take online classes, so like boost up their GPA. Um, some of the kids were getting um, sports scholarships that didn't even play sports. Mm -hmm. They were Photoshopping their faces on Google that, Images. That's it. I'm like, wow. I didn't know the extent of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so apparently why um, University of Texas is in there is it's the tennis coach. Hmm. So the tennis coach accepted, I think it, oh, it might have been $10,000 that I heard. Um, right. Might have been like 10000 to bring in two kids. I think it's about $10,000 a piece. Uh, bring in two kids who didn't play tennis, brought them in on a tennis scholarship, and then the kids quit. And they were there. They're already accepted into the university, so they're just doing the academic part of it. UT Austin? Yes, mm -hmm. girl. At the record show. Right. Wait, anyways, is... go ahead. <laughs> and so, immediately whenever I saw it, I was like, I felt so terrible because I'm like, there are so many kids who deserve Can't these positions to go to who got told no. Not, yeah. But you're spending thousands when it could have been placed on their <laughs> tuition. Right. So... Uh, Lori, I believe it was Lori Lachlan is the one that paid the 500k, right? Yeah, she was. For her two daughters. Yeah, for her two daughters to go to USC. And so she got them into the school, did everything. One of her daughters is apparently an influencer, mm -hmm. and so she hopped on YouTube and was like, I really don't care about school. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be here. <laughs> well, her daughter also was just on the uh, yacht of a USC board of trustee and the chairman's yacht. I'm oh, like, oh, oh, bitch. <laughs> bitch, how you get on that yacht? You brought your you 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 way in, now you're fucking with the chairman. Apple wow, oh, I feel oh. you, bitch. Come up. Apple oh, she she should have done this first then. Her mama could have saved her money. Yeah. She could have at least saved her You lost your degree, shit. We brought our way in, might as well take it off. Yeah. yeah. But they're trying to say that the kids had no idea about they it. Knew. They knew. They knew. But they knew. They knew. Let's be honest. You, you they knew to an extent. You knew, you knew, you, knew, you, knew your SAT th scores weren't that high. Not even you, that. You was brought in on a sports scholarship for a you sport you didn't play. play. Or when you I knew mean, that you knew. passed a SATs without taking it, you knew something was up. Don't get it twisted. If I had a rich family like that and I just had to go to the top school, I, bribe, get me in by any means. Like, I mean, get me in as in like, you know people no, who know people who could maybe money. give me an interview. You took or, get, like, or write you a letter of recommendation. Right, exactly. Yeah. Or you buy your yeah. ass a tutor. Yeah, like you took the place of people that actually deserve to be Throw in there. It. And you bribed your way in. How fucking dare you rich people ass motherfucker. 4.0s weren't Fuck getting you, in and behind Like them. you can afford that oh. shit and you took a spot of someone that is less, that's not yeah, fortunate hard like hard Fuck you. Like, and I hope you go to prison. Those people don't care about people who are less fortunate. And you should go to prison. The thing is, those kids don't even need college. They're gonna, you didn't really they're gonna college. go to prison. Then, honestly, the thing, and that's what's stupid. Why just them two? Where's everybody else at? Oh, no, oh, everybody they're, they're else. All they're all kinds of figures. But they're you know what? The people that in Atlanta for that thing, uh, that uh, tax thing, I think they got like two and five, like one of them, like, like 20 years. Yeah. For four, they need that kind of time. That's a federal offense. Yeah. Yeah. The, the guy, kind of the guy. The, the ones in Atlanta from the, ha the Howard? Yeah. From the, he the, got 20 no, years. No, not, no, the, the high school, like, oh. testing. They were changing the scores to the yeah. test. Yeah. Like, it was, like, a couple of teachers, like, super, the wow. principal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to like, do time, serious they time got, for like, that. They got, like, in the teens of years. They got right. bunch of They all need yeah, 16 because counts, like, just you got to think, but the thing is, you got to think about it, like, public school and all that stuff. Like, you're dealing with the government and stuff like that. Like, you need to do serious time. These schools. That's not a slap on the wrist. are, who do you think? Most of the kids that go to this school have Pell Grants and federal aid. That's not government. Yeah. God damn! So so like, scholarship, that's not government. The thing is, now I feel players. like it's going to change up. It's going to change everything. It's going to change up. up the application process. It's going to oh, change up absolutely. the entrance process for a lot of these schools. They're probably which, gonna have you fingerprint. Honestly, I don't think so because the people who want to find ways yeah. to get into that type of thing are still going to find ways. No, there's some, I think, there's some, I think there's some people hands you can grease to get in certain Brittany, positions. Just how like you know how people used to like finesse like uh, uh, y'all think these stamps and shit. Not like they change no, it. First of all, you still can finesse, finesse food, food stamp. But second this is of all, more than a finesse. This is just flat out lying. Like this is this is more than just tweaking some shit. This is flat out lying. And then you're paying for it. Cause like the guy who was in control of everything, his name is William. Oh, Singer. he's gonna get the most time. He has made twenty five million dollars from two thousand eleven through two thousand eighteen. They started invest. They started this investigation last May. What? He's so, made twenty five. So no million. telling what they're gonna continue to find going exactly. forward. Exactly. Like the man this is like a whole scheme. He had all kind of workers who were 
doing this, doing that, change this, change that for me. Like, the parents were even making the, they weren't just going up to them and like, hey, here goes 500K. They were doing it and, sh- like, making it seem like they were doing donations. But that's everywhere, though. They just, somebody blew the whistle because they still probably didn't get into Harvard. They was like, oh, okay. Okay, so you said Yale and I said Harvard? Okay, this whole operation going down. I thought that's, that's what happened. That's how it usually goes, though. Because usually, like, I mean, you'll notice. It was. Goes, I mean, this has been going on. Well, no, on. they said that it was um, someone, they had, uh, they had someone that cooperated with the investigation that was involved. That's how they opened. Nigga. Yeah, that's, that's how. That's how, it, that's how it all started. It was like one person decided to cooperate, and that's how they actually found but, out about the investigation. But y'all think, I mean, these these high school, these uh, college football players, they getting something too. Like this shit is all crooked all the way around. Yeah, the kids are gonna. These kids need to be ripped out of the program. I feel like this is. I don't care if you're about to walk across the stage. That's your consequence. This, this is you don't get a diploma. I feel like they should make them test again. No, but yes, and go to community college, start over. But have you seen the court documents? According to the court documents, this was all done without the students' knowledge. That's yeah. what they said. Yeah, that's what they said. Michelle, you really gonna think? I don't. You're gonna go to fucking UT and you didn't do anything. You didn't play your SAT scores, but I didn't take a test. You didn't know that your parents said it. They're lying for these white. They people. might get. They might get some slack if if they were minors. They need to go. They need but to start over their college yeah, career yeah. correctly. This is just documented white privilege. This is something that's been. That's going exactly on what it is. Years. That is exactly Lori what it is. Lachlan is going to jail. Yes, yes yeah, she is. She needs to go baby. straight to jail. Becky's going to jail. She needs to go straight Probably to jail. Probably for a while. Damn, for a while. And it's like, imagine... How rude. You, how rude. <laughs> imagine, like, so being that privileged with that much money. We just talked about how much income they bring in their family. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just it's like, like, you wasted all for... All that to bribe... And a daughter that's not even appreciative. You're doing time for her. She's gonna do time with you. Oh, She's gonna be the cell with you. She don't care at all. And that's why I was like, this is, like, so crazy. And, like, even whenever I was talking to some people about it yesterday, one of my friends was like... And these are the same kind of people who will be upset about affirmative action. Mm. Like, this is why we have to have certain shit in place. Because there's people who like you who are willing to, hey, pay this, hey, pay that, pay this, pay it's that. It's not fair that and my son didn't get a scholarship. Yeah. What was that yeah. girl named who had an attitude? Abby? She didn't get into UC. Yes. And then all the black people was posting their degrees and shit yeah. like that. Yeah. That, that is... Funny. Or you remember that one um, MTV did, like, a documentary on white privilege. And, like, one, like, Middle Eastern girl won a scholarship. And a white girl was like... She didn't deserve that. And her white counterpart was like, what makes you think she didn't deserve that? She scored higher than you. She has a higher GPA than you. She deserved it. What makes you think? Because, I mean, they just gave it to her because of who, like, where she comes from. That's what she said. I'm like, wow. I feel like white people really think like this. But the crazy part is, like, this is something that's been going on. Because even when you talk about people who are, like, going for residencies, people who are even in residency going for fellowships, they'll even tell you, like, a lot of these spots are already, like, Pay for it. reserved for people who, like, oh, okay. Well, Their parents, like... like People who sit there and skate through medical school, people who don't have to put in any effort because they already know they're going to get the fellowship they want because their dads, the board of directors mm-hmm. for yeah. this, or their dads already donated $5 million in the last 10 years, so there's no way they're right. going to... They're, no, they're chewing. Last name alone gets you in. You right. know what I mean? So it's just like... Generational wealth really gets you and in. And that's what... Though. Because... Nepotism is real. I say all the time that black people and white people send their kids to school with a different goal. Purpose, yeah. So black people send their kids to school with a, you need to go get, you know, get a good job or to, you know, become more independent, become more responsible. Do better than what we did. I want you to go have the college experience. White people are sending their kids to school like, shit, okay, you need to go find this person. You need to go get this connection. You need to go get this. You need to go get that. You need to... They Touch hands not, with this one always. person. They, sometimes they just need it just for the paper. They just need it to show, yeah. like, oh, I need to be able to prove to the board of trustees that you can be in control of this company later on. That's what I'm saying. So go get this yeah, degree. You'll but see that's, not what, that's not what we're saying. Communication degree. Because yeah, no. then and we get out and we still like, need five years of experience. Exactly. And then you how see 24-year-olds. How is a 24-year-old with a degree in rock jewelry the vice, a, president, a vice president figures. of, let's say, Coca-Cola, making 190 k right out of college. Yeah, I didn't know. I was Trump president. Like, yeah. this is, money talks. Bullshit yeah. walks. Yeah. What is Ivanka Trump's title? Does she has yeah. security clearance? That's what I was wondering. So, I mean, that should show you how far nepotism really yes. goes. Yes. Like, that, that stuff runs very deep. And I even saw that they were, like, going back and investigating admissions to Harvard from the 80s. Damn. So that means that they're gonna be revoking the A lot of people are gonna be in, going to jail soon. Oh, people, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Trump. People uh, okay, so, Trump whole family in jail. See his diploma, his GPA, <laughs> his high school Texas, grade. Nothing. People about to be singing like birds. Yeah. But that recently happened. It wasn't it to like some charter school that was like boasting like they had like all their 
all their students got acceptance into oh, Ivy, to- Ivy Leagues, and it turns out that they were going back and like changing grades. Mm-hmm. And- but remember um, that high this. school South Lake Carroll? They used to recruit play. Oh, and they were always winning championships every year. At the, they were always winning championships every year. They were recruiting football players yeah. to their school. Yeah, but, but, but that was obviously- having like paying for like students to have extra. Tra- Niggas is driving Corvettes <laughs> in high school. Like, how? You know what I'm saying? Like, people have been doing that. And, like, even whenever these schools, they go and they recruit these players, and then they have a star player, you don't think these schools is making sure that they're taking care of these star players? Thank what? you. Oh, yes. I, how, if a, no shade to you to say, but then football players just have to show up. That's they, all y'all have to do. They, they, show up to I mean, class. We be in class together. I'm just like, you're not even li- paying us your sleeping. It just sucks because we were a witness to a lot of white privilege in college, and like now that we're actually now that we're older and we're actually seeing people getting in trouble for it, to me it's you know it's a good day in America. White privilege now. I mean, but it's a good day in America. I'm glad I'm I'm about to see white people go to jail for doing stupid shit. I just need more. I need more. I need more people going down. Yeah. No, but the thing is, no, but I think they're going back to the '80s. That means that they're about to uncover. I need more more people people. going down, and I need them. So are they revoking degrees or what? I don't. Mm. I guess they, they gotta arrest the parents first. Can they? Do I that? guess. I guess the thing is. I, yeah. Because the can thing they is, take? Well, I, 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 don't I don't think so. Think because the thing is, like, there's a difference between admission and actually making your way all the way through. School. But there's people that skated their way through and paid their way through and probably have people taking exams. Because the article that are I read said that several now. of them had already graduated. Several yeah. of the kids already graduated. Because when you become a nurse, they can't take away you, your RN BSN. They can take away your license. That's true. Oh. So I don't know. But so I don't know. I guess we're gonna see. Um Lori Laughlin's daughter who's an influencer, oh her YouTube page is about to be booming. Her YouTube page is about to be booming. Uh, I, think I, heard it I don't know, but her YouTube page is about to be and YouTube's gonna easily be like, Oh yeah. Yeah, whatever and I went every, to every view one knows. Whenever I went to her uh, yeah, when I went to her know, Instagram, she had like one point two million followers. After this story? Well, I looked at her Instagram, I think it was what day did the story come out? Yesterday. Tuesday? Yeah, I looked at it Tuesday. She had one point two million. Oh, her YouTube page. Uh, but they said she was already like a really crazy. big influencer. Oh, it's about to be crazier. So Same I don't know. Same thing with uh, Jordan. She has like ten million so oh. followers now. I was like, ooh, child. She has a camp. You went from one to ten. She has a hive now. Let me, let me, let me, let me fact check that. Yeah, but that's all I have in this week with, with the shits. Um, so. yeah. <laughs> so, so tell us a little bit about your podcast. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Spotlight. Um, well, we started our podcast, what, about a year and a half ago. All of us, we went to college together, so mm-hmm. we kind of already started. That's where the inspiration came from. Back in college, we used to have these, like, Real Talk Wednesdays, and we just, like, sit down, have conversations, have a bottle of wine, and that's kind of the same inspiration that we use with our podcast to this day. I I consider it like a girls talk, like a like a table talk. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say red table talk because you know <laughs> people are gonna say it's that one gets sweet, a little <laughs> spicier. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know. What do y'all say about it? I mean, same. We have these conversations all the time, oh, like really? in the group chat. We boom in, like it, even in person, boom in. So it's like it, it, being on the podcast is really no different from a regular conversation with us. So I mean, yeah, that's where it stemmed from, and we kind of it kind of took off because. Of the podcast, but the fact that we we've been doing this is kind of just like you know it just kind of worked out in our favor. But you know, I'm glad because it's a hobby now. So yeah, I really like it. Yeah. So how long is a normal recording session for you guys? (laughs) Two hours. Two hours. Two hours. Maybe two and a half. Because we like to talk. I don't think two. Two and a half. It's never. We never start on time. So yeah, we never seem like it's two and a half. But it's two hours. It's two hours. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Like we we be really get it done. I See, like, I, I feel like now that we more have, too. Yeah. yeah, I feel like now that we have, like, a really solid format, it's kind of, like, once we get started, we get started, you know, but when we when we meet up, it's like, since we're all such good friends, like, we're having these side conversations, mm-hmm. and we're like, y'all, this happened, this happened, this happened, so it takes us a little bit to yeah. get started sometimes. Right. So when is, when do you guys' episode drop? Wednesdays. Wednesdays. Every other Wednesday. Every Wednesday. other yeah, every Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. Mm-hmm. And where is it available? On Spotify, Stitcher, SoundCloud, SoundCloud iTunes, iTunes, and then Hi Hi Google, Radio. Play. Hi Hi Radio. Google Play. So what do you guys see as, like, what do you guys want? What do you guys want for it to turn into? What's the ultimate goal for you? The new Breakfast Ooh. Club. Um, yes, I, um, I, I, want to, I see us doing more than Breakfast Club. You know, I feel as, I see us making a big impact, impact in Dallas. And, you know, and I see us actually making it to the big screen and actually possibly, you know, 
you know, yeah. petty party, 10 to 4, <laughs> 3 p.m. Yeah. Holla at me, you feel me? <laughs> hey, feel you feel that. me? So yeah, that's what I see. I think, um, I think that we can kind of, like, go off of Breakfast Club, like, what Breakfast Club is doing now. Mm -hmm. So I know, like, recently, like, y'all saw Breakfast Club was on Fox News, mm -hmm. and I kind of like that aspect. It's like, now the Breakfast Club is, like, being more of advocates than they are just, like, a radio station, right. yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping that in the future, not only are we able to have that platform, but we have that platform to be advocates for things that we believe in, mm -hmm. and especially whenever it comes to, like, women's rights and just different mm -hmm. things, being able to, like, speak your... Speak your peace without having people down your throat. Exactly. Hey, y'all, yeah. and, and if, if something happens, y'all, and Michael Jackson does get found guilty, y'all need to pull up these receipts and cancel me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> right yeah, now. Please. Okay? Because <laughs> y'all, it's canceled. It's canceled season. Black canceled Twitter is good for it, listen, too. They're going to be like, uh-uh, uh-uh, listen, uh, March he 18th, just, okay. she was out here talking about Michael Jackson innocent, cancel her. Like, <laughs> <laughs> And memes okay, like, okay, what? You better go ahead and start going through them uh, <laughs> posts and your the old tweets. Tweet. Crazy. I thought about actually going to my Twitter page and actually like going back years and just deleting. Girl, shit. all you need I to do, feel like I've been go in there and search keywords. That's why I don't, I don't understand all y'all like, personalities, influences. Search your Instagram hand, uh, Twitter handle. Put the word nigger next to it. Yeah. And just see what pops up. If something pops up, delete that bitch. Just to look, like, just to look the whole thing. Like, if you feel like you may have been problematic. Start fresh. Go slur by oh, yeah, slur. Right, start a new... It's what, see, a lot, that's why I have a, probably a lot, lot of dick influencers on mine. have done that. Like, if they their page gets popping, they'll create a new IG, new Twitter. I feel them like all that needs to disappear. All that stuff is, is catch, though. So, honestly, you can delete if you want to. It's still there. It's still there. Yeah, if somebody looking, they gonna find whatever it is. I hate America. America. Like Sabrina, what's her name? <laughs> Claudia. Who? Uh, oh, she had a What did she, she do? Why she canceled? Her page used to be a troll page. I was like, why? Why would you? If you knew your page used to be a troll page, why would you turn that yeah. into your artist? Page? After that, I, be I still don't listen to her music. What did she say? Alina, whatever her name, took her place. Baraz. Mm -hmm. Baraz, yeah. Uh, but no, she, she did. Alina Baraz came first. first she, she, she did. Made racist, she did. racist statements on her page, but she was—I mean, she was younger. But no, actually, no, it wasn't. Younger. It was like two. No, three yeah, years it was before. two, three years ago. I'm sorry, I'm getting her mixed with somebody. But she did make racist comments on her page. Yeah, she's pretty young. Yeah. Okay. She was just talking about like how like she's black talking about people, black girls black and girls and all that. Stuff. I mean, she ain't the only one. His, she was talking about Hispanic she, girls. She's, and it's, that's what I'm saying. Like it's just people. Society choo picks and chooses who they want to cancel because this, didn't that Nature Boy came out and he had a whole bunch of stuff and they was like, yeah, yeah, we need to forgive him. Remember, that's what I remember watching who they want. Black exactly. Girls Club and it was the New Orleans season and that white girl's like, I don't want to be in the club with all black people. That I don't even want like oh, I don't I be another that. ghetto club. And we still watch it. Why isn't Joe Budden canceled in my out? It's then. That came and went quickly. Okay, this is the end of the yeah, <laughs> Y'all get this turned out. out. Something we, about us. <laughs> to, about them. But yeah, no, oh it was supposed to be about us. But yeah, um, I mean, at the end of the day. See, this is what we do. This is what we do on the podcast. <laughs> you know, like we I'm, just I'm get carried. I was going to say, Ma, Ma blocked me. Oh, uh, for real? You went in why? on him? I didn't even have. go in on him. I just politely told him, like, you should apologize for what you said. Yeah. Because he came out said. and said that it was a joke. About what? And dark skinned women. He said, he, some, he said like dark skinned women with blonde hair look like black and mild. No, he went in. It was like dozens of tweets going in on dark skinned women. Yeah. And Joe Budden was retweeting LOL and his ass off. And that's why your chick right now is against dark skinned women. So all of y'all is canceled, okay? Your yeah. podcast ain't even that goddamn funny. And so no, I'm going to have to make tickets. Differ. I'm going to have to make no, a difference. I love the podcast. I'm, to go I'm definitely not like, going. I I whenever I commented, <laughs> Maul deleted my comment at first. Dang. And so I went back and I was like, damn, Maul deleting comments? I would have never <laughs> thought. <laughs> nigga, on hate on, yeah, you yeah, straight block, block me. So the plan so is, whenever troll. I go to the show, I'm going to tell them all I want to smoke. Period. Wow. Is that why you're really going? That's not the oh, okay. I love Joe uh, okay. Bias, but Okay, I was like, damn it. Wow, so okay. where's that energy for the cancel? So y'all do be picking and choosing. No, because, no. no. But the thing is, Maul, <laughs> you're right. Like, I was upset about what he said. But the thing, like, he's not the whole podcast. Joe Bunnan was laughing, and even that other ice was going in. Ice? Ice? Oh, the, yeah. oh, the other guy. Rory's? Oh, Rory his, or Ice? His name used to be Ice on Twitter. Oh. Oh, so Ice what? is one of his other friends. And the crazy part is I didn't even know that. I was like, wow, it's crazy. Like, back then, black Twitter used to be so lit. And now it's like... You have to watch what you say now. Yeah. Oh. Long story short, you guys can find us, Petty Party Podcast, on iTunes, every other platform that we all named earlier. Mm -hmm. I was just about to say, give your socials. Yeah, yeah we're, oh. on, we're on Instagram. It's pettyparty.podcast. Twitter's Petty Party Pod. If you have 
questions or anything, our emails, pettyparty12814 at gmail.com. And individually, if you want to be down with the set, you know my IG name is at A-M-A-K-A-L-E-T-T-E, Adam Akalin. What's good? I'm dead. Yeah. You can find all of us on our, our Instagram page. We're tagged. Paulette, oh, yeah, I'm mm-hmm. the give your page. handles those. Oh, wow, well, now live on the works. Or you can follow me at <laughs> Champagne Chris. So, mm-hmm. yeah. So what bar cho- what, 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 what made y'all Yeah, what podcast? started y'all's podcast? Mm, that's a good question, honestly. The same. We're best friends. Yeah, and we used to, like, people would tell us all the time, like, whenever they hear us having our conversations... That our conversations be a little wild. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I will. Y'all are funny as hell. Y'all are very funny. Like funny. I'm like, <laughs> and y'all are raw as hell. So yeah, y'all I, I, that, I love that about y'all's I podcast. Do. Y'all don't give a fuck. Yeah, I think I that's probably that. like the man because we just don't. Y'all care. don't. Like, yeah, yeah. No. especially if we're not lying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. literally. Yeah. I, yeah. 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 I wish <laughs> witness, but you know it's, it's crazy. I wish society just had the same energy because if you're not lying, then why can't I just be real and raw? Yeah, I mean, because lawsuits. but if it's the truth. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, Def- defamation is a lie, and, and all of the conversations that we like you hear on our show, like that's really mm-hmm. us. Mm-hmm. And so we know. it's like, authentically <laughs> us. yeah, it's definitely like us just being our authentic selves. So it works. And there are days like you know we be on the podcast, we don't agree. Oh, yeah. always. And then there's other days that we do agree. Mm-hmm. And you know we have our we have our differences on certain topics and things like that. But at the end of the day, I think it mm-hmm. there's nothing wrong with having like good commentary and good conversation. Mm-hmm. So, it works. I think that's a, a podcast is really good for people that, like, have great conversations mm-hmm. and they can just talk for hours. Right. like, that's major key with a podcast. Like, you need to be able to hold a conversation. That's a fact. Because some people can talk for, like, 10 minutes and that's it. I'm like, that's it? Yeah. Okay. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. And even we brought people on here, like, they don't even, ba- they barely talk. And we'll still just, like, bring it bring out of them. Bring it out of them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We'll still be like, no, you know. Give them a couple shots. That's because yeah. you gotta get them loose. You gotta get them real loose. That's nah. the crazy thing. We yeah. we don't even drink. Y'all, why? I'm like, if we if we were drinking on the oh, episode, wow. y'all be hoo-hoo. wow for real. I think the thing that's bring people out is sex. <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> you know what's crazy? Is, that's a sex, and rice. Yeah, yeah, sex and rice. Yeah, for a lot of people. Sex and rice. Yeah, yeah. everybody love rice. Um, <laughs> you know what? What? everybody I, loves rice. I like rice. Y'all like rice. <laughs> everybody in this room like rice. Yeah, I haven't eaten rice in a minute. That's, that's not that's not a part of my cultural staple. You want rice <laughs> with sugar and butter, yeah. But you'll eat it. Sugar and it's butter. Not, it's just, <laughs> okay, mac hey. and cheese. Is that better? Mm. All right, now you're going too far. <laughs> everybody has sex. Not everybody eats rice. And it, okay. Not, every, not, not everybody has sex. Yeah, but not everybody, not everybody has, sex. has sex. But everyone can Once. have a conversation about sex. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, that's true. Sex. That's true. Except virgins. Okay, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, somebody agree. Don't listen to our shit if you ain't at least had one sexual experience. <laughs> 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 don't listen to us no. unless, unless you've been finger popped. <laughs> finger bang. <laughs> <laughs> don't listen to Harry if you ain't had your cherry popped. So goddamn, I'm going to show you. Your hymen's still in Why are you listening to us? We're going to see you down the wrong road. I am. I'm going to see you down the wrong road. I'll be oh. over here trying to uh, tear it back in. I'll be trying to be I'm, like, I'm a black China, your ass. Let let me be the let me be the grown thirty one year old in this situation. So. All right. Well, um, if y'all have any questions, uh, sponsorships, uh, bullshit. You oh, want if you got podcast, a sponsorship, hit us up at hearyoupodcast at gmail dot com. You can find us on all our social media platforms at Hear You Podcast. And where can they find you? At? You guys can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Tana Taught You. That is T-A-N-N-A-H. Talk to you. And Your handles are the same on both? Mm-hmm. That's what, yeah. Blessed. Consistency. Well, so, actually, yeah. mine is. <laughs> and y'all can find me at who that underscore breezy, B-R-E-E-Z-Y on Twitter. Ooh, that's a, ooh, that's a, oh. Ooh, that's a 06 name. <laughs> breezy. Who that breezy. All right. All right, well, you guys ready to go ahead and get up out of here? Yeah. Hell Yeah. Um, well, thank you, Petty Party. We appreciate y'all for coming through. Thank you for, thank having, you for having us. Thank you so for allowing fun. us to sip on your tea. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Yes, yes thank you guys for coming. And as always, shout out to everybody. We hey. had fun. And we will talk to y'all next week. Bye. Bye, y'all. Bye. Um, this is your girl, Amaka Les, signing out that say holla. You just had to be last, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, you wise to feel me. Hey, nigga, 